Greetings and welcome everyone to Fellowship Gaming. I am, as always, your ever-prepared GM, Brian. Here to, with my friends, bring you another tale of daring, dimwits, and disaster. Uh, playing with the intro is something I can remember and not have to read constantly. <laughs> so, I'm breaking rules, everyone. But we are here for the first session of the Blood Lords AP. Um, I hope you guys have had a great time. It's been a fun lead up to all this, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. Um, let's see. Do we have any weird announcements or anything? Um, for the month of April, we will not be broadcasting any games. Uh, that well, any of any our live, any of our RPG. live tabletop games. We're still going to be doing our normal weekly, uh, weekly home, home games. The ho the, the like the we'll have cozy corner. Yeah. We'll have Skyrim. We'll have D and D. We'll have uh, Baldur's Gate. But our our Friday night at seven and we'll our have Sunday World. at our um twelve in person games. We're going to suspend because we're moving venues. Yep. Uh, we're moving venues. Uh, we're moving my, on up. My house is almost complete. <laughs> well, like we're we're gonna be insulating it. It's gonna be great. So, a little tangent. Uh, we bought our house. Yeah. You know, and then the next day, either the tenant next door died, or they moved out, and their house is now for sale. Oh. So Susie saw uh, sirens, uh, red and blues, and thought it maybe was a police officer. Ooh. And then literally the whole next week was all like they came over and they were doing wigs and they were pulling stuff out, oh. and shipping it, and throwing everything away. And I was like, "That's rough." I think we didn't get to know anybody. I was like, "I think they died." No, no. <laughs> That's what the, when the next neighbor was gonna be like. We've been here for fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we know the entire neighborhood. That guy died. We don't care about those people. Those people are horrible. I mean, we are playing Bloodlord, so you may get to know him. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Very fair. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're going to get out this nice climate-controlled office to a place that supports internet. Maybe. And Hopefully. cars. Hopefully. Hopefully. What do you think you're dealing with? <laughs> Well, I bought a new router, man. I was like, it had nothing to do with you or the router. It's the company you go through. Yeah. Uh, it's the same company we're going to have last time. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like, because I, I deal with Comcast every day. And it's like, but now I'm it worried. throttles. And then like at midnight or one o'clock in the morning, I'm doing something on the computer. And then all of a sudden I get the world for about 20 minutes. And then it's good to go again. Mine is actually pretty good. Right now we're doing, uh, uh, I've got. 200 down and uh not 200 down 200 yeah 200 down and five up well, mine's even better that than sounds that. like I still a get financing burps. plan with comcast <laughs> yeah. we, we, we spend 76 a month but we get 26 of it defaulted so we only pay 50 that's not bad we get we're two 250 up and 250 tw up yeah 250 no two yeah no yes hold on two, we're 250 down 40, 40 up. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I was like, I was like, it's really high, but it's, it's I always get them mixed. So I'm part of a grandfather plan. We bought ours like eight, nine yeah, years it, ago. Ours is military. We do the oh, okay. every year they just redo the fifty. Okay. So we only pay fifty instead of. You know when you first sign up, they're like promotional get plan. whatever. Yeah, fifty, yeah, no, 50 I had for to, a year, and then you pay the seventy, whatever. I had to. Yell and they were just like, my that. wife's been deployed multiple times. At this point, they've screwed us over between moving and just the, the inactivity. And they go, I'll tell you what, we're just going to put it in notation every year. We'll renew that. You just pay fifty because we we auto pay. We no no bill. Mm -hmm. No, what is it? No pay for billing. Yeah. You know, it's so, so they're they're like, we love you. We've had you've had us for five years. You paid everything consistent. Yeah. You're good to go. It's like we love they it. They did the same thing for me, and they keep messing it up every single yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's it, three times, and then we kept calling like, hey, like we we didn't move or nothing. Like so, the last place we were living in, they uh, the upstairs neighbors wanted to get Wi-Fi as well, and they cut ours off to hook theirs up because it's it's a it's a double. Oh. And they like. No, you kind of have to call the person that you're shutting off first. Yeah. You can't just do it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, it should never have happened. Yeah, we know. That's why I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> so, Bloodlords. <laughs> yeah. We're all evil. 
Oh, I'll tell you uh, I, I damn don't... it. I don't know if I'm evil. No, we're well. No, I know, but we're blood lords. I'm like, I totally could have just. Hey Brian, can I play Stitch? I want to be a Skittermander. Oh. He would have let me. He would have let you. <laughs> I know. You'd be a skeleton Skittermander. Yeah. Be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Can I change my character? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, all right, so point, new session no. zero. <laughs> no. no. No, everybody's ready. Let's do this. All right. Heal me. <laughs> I can do healing. that. <laughs> yeah, positive healing. You go to prison, we all make new characters. <laughs> I can actually heal you with negative energy. Yeah, that's good. I'm not a cleric. All right. Oh, nice. I, I don't know what I, We talked a little bit about it, but I didn't ask particular stuff. Just... So. Yeah. Okay. And but since yeah, I didn't have a session, I actually looked stuff up on uh, the archives, and I was that's obviously where I did the chirurgian rules originally. It is I use crafting, not medicine. Period. For what? So that for medicine. It, that's oh. true since the remaster. It, it wasn't always that way. It probably right. That, that's because I I read both. Well, the rules I mean, you're in the, right in the Nethys archives, and then I read you the rules in the book. Yeah. Cause yeah, I was like, that doesn't sound right. No. Uh, yeah, it was really re you are. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we well, agreed. We came to an accord. And I was like, no, it's all crafting. I said the same thing too. I'm like, wh I was like, crafting takes four hours regardless. I was like, that's uh, why would it take me the same amount of time to craft an artifact as it is to make a potion? To make a potion. Right. Why? And really, potions should be done in quantity. Yeah. Like, you have a gallon bucket. Like, I yeah. make mead. I make... Yeah. I don't make one bottle of alcohol. No, you don't. I make a You make a bunch. batch. You yeah. make a batch. Yeah. Well, yeah. most consumables... And Mo I, yeah, they, no, most, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, but, most consumables are... I think they're half-time. But, but like, like, in, in like well, AD&D and 5th edition and Pathfinder 1, it wasn't that way. No, no. It was yeah. just... In, it was like, just one yeah. by one by one by one. Well, and even in the remaster, the crafting rules are far better now. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Far better now. Yeah. That's what part of the reason why I wanted to be a lady... Because I want the the purse, okay. because uh, the talisman esoterica, the scroll esoterica, the He's not perch, talking the about Pathfinder possible what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I want to be a lady. I want my body to match my tits. No, <laughs> I know that feel sometimes. <laughs> so, my wife's so mad. Like, how are you bigger than my? No, they're not. But, but they were for a minute. <laughs> breastfeeding she's like why are your tits bigger than mine and i was like well i feel the same way about they brian and jeremy no <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what uh, i i know i'm a fat guy it's okay sure. i'm gonna say this all due incredulity about andy you will never match your wife <laughs> my wife is a large chested woman that's fine yeah my wife is not that was not the reason I married her. Just in no, case clearly. I was curious. <laughs> She's really intelligent. You didn't marry her for her dowry of large tracts of land. No, I did not. Huge tracts of no. land. She, Vast. She's Vast. one of the Vast. first women I've been able to have a an intelligent conversation with. Are we uh, using, uh, once, and then you've been chasing that high points? for twenty years. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, hero points. What? what how, how's that working for us? Right. Ooh, you do, got coins. Do they work normally? <gasps> Yeah, those are cool. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, he, those I, are, I think Brian gets all the extra ones. Those are real metal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got them. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded. I'm just, these are cool. Yeah, the, every Sunday that we've played Pathfinder. And right? it's got the... Yep, the Wayfinder the and the seven... Open Road and the Pathfinder. Well, it's also got the seven seal in it, too. Hmm. Oh, the yeah, seven you're right. Seven-pointed star. Yeah. yeah. I really hated that campaign. <laughs> the Rise of the Shattered Rune Lords. Star? Rise, oh, of yeah. the Rune Lords. Rise of the Rune Lords yeah. was I ran it and I hated it. I, I have the minis for all the Rune Lords. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because like you can just take out book four. Yeah, basically. Well, I never made it to book four. Yeah. Because most people like, if if you in if if you if you're not playing with a good GM, which I was not, right. um I was a horrible you can, GM. You can mess no, you are like there's no tie. The group just there's no, no tie in from book apart. three to book mm -hmm. four if you do it wrong. Yeah, I know. I tried doing it once before, but we the way we did it was well, I ran the first book, somebody else ran the second book, somebody mm -hmm. else ran the third book, and after the third book, we like uh, we were supposed to get something out of that keep that just caught on fire. <laughs> yeah, we never got to the third book. No, it was when I was playing in when I was in the army. Yeah, oh, water, please. It, colder. Because I remember there. when we played with you GMing. We made it to the second book. We made it to the second book. It was the farmhouse that I burned down that we were supposed to get something. <laughs> I know that place. <laughs>
the, so there's a dragon that comes in and starts laying waste, and it's supposed to well, like later on okay. in one of the books, and it <clears throat> it's supposed to take fifteen turns, and then it leaves. My players killed it in three because there was a sorcerer who's like, oh yeah, no, I can change my element at will, and goes, oh that's a red dragon, cold, cold, and would just meta magic his way up massively and killed it in three hits, and I'm like. Yeah, sure. Um, everybody is happy you saved the town. So good job. Welcome to the Great Dirt. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Can We're I trying to who get I am on first? track. I didn't have a session zero. Yes. No, okay yeah, I think we'll all, we'll all do it. All right. Everyone's Everyone's doing doing it. All right. Introductions. Slowly. Yeah. To be fair, I also didn't have a cur- uh, session zero because I changed my concept yeah. literally three Every quarters of the minutes. way through. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I had a pretty solid idea, and then about three quarters of the way through, I pretty much landed on an idea, and then. Uh, I changed one aspect of it, and now I changed the gender. So, yeah, I was like, okay. what happens? I was like, we you had a lot of options this time. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. So well, and I also didn't want to be a like the the optimizer in me is like, oh, I could do so much cool shit, and then the other guy, the other side of me is like, yeah, but I could just do cool shit. Like it doesn't have to be super effective cool shit. Mm-hmm. Like Casey's character is super super good. But he's not going to build it that way. He's going to do like two things really good, and then he's going to optimize around that, and then everything else is going to be tertiary, because I know Casey. <laughs> he could, if he sat down and actually planned his build out, he could do a million damage. Well, same with me. I never planned my build out. Yeah. Well, because... you, you have a really fun... If you, yeah. Literally, see, that's my problem, is I sat down and I meted both of their characters out, like because I didn't want to step on any toes with yeah. mine. Yeah, yeah. So the one thing I was worried about was scared to death because Casey gets it for free at, at 15 because he's a raging barbarian. And I was like, is that going to be cool? And he goes, yeah, no, we'll just both scare people to death. <laughs> like, there's two actions, two people are out of the combat. Well, hey, yeah, it'll like that. Can we turn the fan on if possible? You might want to take your coat off that first, though. Is it on? No. No. I want it on. Oh. And I mean, this character is going to be really easy to build to do the Thanks, damage, it. though. It's not like first edition. I grew up with wind, bugs. so yeah. not having like no, wind well, in a room is. Casey's awesome. character is very close yeah. to the Pathfinder like first edition Titan Mauler, mm-hmm. but better because <laughs> he has better. He has the fighters uh, attack opportunity. He has the fighters uh, increased uh, expertise in weapons, weapons. Then he has rage for resistance, and then he has giant for reach at higher levels. And he's just going to do a farkle ton of damage. And he, well, he's going to crit the most because he's got the fighter chassis. And he does the most damage because he's a giant instinct barbarian. So that's the highest flat damage in the game. What's your bonus to hit? Right now it's plus nine. Okay. At that's level fine. one. Yeah, I have it, a plus nine it, as well. What? What are you? I'm a gunslinger. Oh yeah, well, you have the same fighter progression. Okay, I, I, I was so I, I, I was know. like, I what the? Oh yeah, no, I, I didn't put two and two together when you said you're an Alkin star. I'm like, what the? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, so are you going to do be my third Pathfinder? Are character. you going to do like a trigger brand type gun where your uh, clan dagger is fused to the knife? Nah, nah. The gun? I'm sniper. Oh, even that's cool. We we could do a clan dagger as your bayonet. Yeah, ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. A clan pistol. Yep, I saw the clan pistol, but you have to take a feat for that. Uh, you to, uh, that's a feat. You don't. Oh. You're a gunslinger and a dwarf. You start at Marshall. You're done. You don't have to have a feat for it. No, so turning There's... your... Oh, to... oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, sorry, to, sorry. To, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's totally fine. To, to make it... your clan dagger into a bayonet, you do. Yes. Yeah, yeah, are... yeah, yes. yeah. No, like, I was like... no. But it makes you... It, like... But it makes it agile for you. Yeah. Which is boom and then stab, and it's minus four yeah. instead of five. Well, I'm, 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 I'm back there. <laughs> I'm aware. Oh, I'm going to be uh, GMing Call of Cthulhu in my second campaign. Mm. So it's Delta good. Green or just seventh edition or whatever? Just seventh edition. Oh, okay. So it's going to be interesting because I have never played it. You played Cthulhu before, yeah. but not seventh ed. Well, the, the other than a, like two or three rules, it's, bar- it's, it's very similar. Thing. It's, it's same. like college it, textbooks. It's, it's Warhammer. It's, it's a D10 uh, modifier system. Yeah. So if you have 54, it's a five. Yeah, it's the same situation. Yeah. Okay. Right. Anyways, yeah. introduce us. So, Sorry. Uh. So we'll get introductions in a bit. Uh, it is a lovely day in the nation of Gael. There's. Is it bright or dark? It's a bright day, bright sunny day, nice and hot. <laughs> and uh, uh, the oh, air me. is a peculiar mix of always smelling like death and 
uh, spices <sighs> and uh, uh, meats cooking uh, from the uh, local breakfast stalls and stuff like that going around there. Awesome. Meats that go from everywhere from things that humans recognize and eat to things that humans don't. Because uh, we got a wide variety of appetites and get them. This is one of the few times that I wish that there was a sensate background like there is in Pathfinder. Oh, yeah. As a ghoul, like that's <clears throat> just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a... I love playing my sensate. Super taster. Is that is, I didn't see that. <clears throat> season. So, oh. It's a skill feat. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, but I'll find it later. You know... Uh, Fair warning. The... I may change my concept <laughs> okay. before session two. <laughs> <laughs> out on the roads, there is a lonely skeleton who's just fallen apart. Oh, and no. Somebody get that boy a bone. Uh, this skeleton hears uh, this vague singing that they've heard before and uh, the chorus of Born to be dead starts going on as a bunch of highly painted and stylized severed heads come what, rolling what was that? up. Bone to be dead. Born to be dead. Bone to be dead. No, nah, I like bone right. to be dead. It Yours was good too. I thought about <laughs> bone to be dead, but I was like, eh, it's too much. That's There's enough than... bones in this campaign. Born to be boned. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And uh, the gang of uh, severed heads um, roll up they're exquisitely painted stylized uh, one of them's chewing uh, something alchemical that makes fire explode out of his ears and the leader of them is like yo loser you alive yet Never intended to be back alive. Ah, oh, good. Good to see you're unalive. Anyway, the Blood Lord wants to see you. So skedaddle. Just, and then why are they are they a motorcycle gang? That's severed heads. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. They just roll. Do you think we know or <laughs> care? It's the Blood Lord, dummy. Go. And they go. They start. They make revving up sounds, <laughs> and then start... no, they're just one behind them. <laughs> it's, it's it's a it's just teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start singing again. There's just go, one quick off. following them. Go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's fun. That's good. I like it. And then I, I wish I still had lungs to sigh with. <laughs> <laughs> you creak your sword. <laughs> It make, the the scabbard go. makes a creak. Oh. <laughs> Head the size of a planet. <laughs> Sword the size of a planet. You've seen. Don't them. tell me you know anything uh, about Arthur depression. Is, uh, uh, oh, Gal oh it, Christ! Tell me, I get Hitchhiker's Guide. Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, the one with Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, it's got <clears throat> Alan Rickman as the, the. It's not. It's actually someone else. No, Alan Rickman does the voice. Warwick Davis is the body. Okay. And he did the voice, and they tubbed him out, and he was very upset about oh, that. interesting. But, uh... Anyways, Casey, what's your skeleton's name? Horus. Horus. H-O-R-U-S? Yes. All right, yeah. I, I, I clamber to my bony feet. <laughs> kind of heave my shoulders like I'm trying to sigh. Mm -hmm. Because I'm... A skeleton. I don't have breath anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how the whole how I can talk. Mm -hmm. And I go marching along, okay. dragging my sword along behind me, because the thing is freaking bigger than I am. Uh, Fred. Yes. Uh, this morning, uh, you were like testing the air to see if it was okay to go out. Uh, because maybe something was going to get you today that didn't get you yesterday. Um, and uh, a severed tentacle comes up and tries making shapes to talk to you, but then realizes you don't know sign language. It kind of sighs. And 
uh, just draws on the dirt on the ground, Blood Lord, you go now. Alive. Where is you the Blood Lord? You know where the Blood Lord is. Oh, do I? Is yeah. there, uh, she, she's so very known. We are in Great Dirt, correct? We're in Great Dirt. And there's only one Blood Lord, and it's in great out of character, dirt. it's the halfling woman. We all know yep. who she is. Right. Okay. She she's very obvious. This is the first time yeah. I've heard about this. Yeah, it's she's a I... necromancer halfling. It's okay. I haven't read. I didn't read any yeah. of this stuff. But it's okay. Uh, so it's uh, in character. Everyone knows because she's one there of the few go. blood lords. Welcome to the player's guide. Uh, she, that, you'll see her. She's near uh, the back. She's like on page four or five. Outside of Mechatar. She's cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's gonna kill someone. Take their bones and stick them on her forehead. No, she doesn't. Well. She doesn't kill him. She just likes to raise him. She's. <laughs> I can't have kids. She I have just... five million. <laughs> she looks so tiny. She's like, ha ha ha. I'm not. I'm not going to kill you. They will. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And then oh, Fred... I had to read, watch that last episode of uh, Dungeons. Oh, oh I have delicious. Seen, I dungeon haven't seen the most recent one. I'm, <clears throat> I'm two back. Oh, Sorry, Fred. What is your okay. rat folks' name? <laughs> We 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 won't talk about that. Trek, Trek, T R E C, T R E C. Thank you. With a K. With no K. No, it's Eric with a C. Last name is with a K. <laughs> All right, and then you are again. You're a rogue. Which? You're up. Thank you. With uh, familiar with spider climb, spider with climbing, so it's a spider. That's cool. Cool. And he really hates his familiar it keeps scaring him okay you know it'd be funny if it was a rat familiar and it scared him <laughs> yeah. that would be funny but Sorry. the spider has familiar value oh, okay <clears throat> yeah. and then um i forgot to print out the spider stuff i'll have to do that later next time let's see um uh tony um, you are out and about getting ready for what you're going to do this morning. And this ornate carriage, uh, comes up, it stops by you, and a zombie kind of hisses at you, get in. Oh, wonderful. Where are we going? Blood Lord. Oh, beautiful. As I respond in Necro. Hmm. And then what? I'll remove my my sun cap, uh, my my pretty floral bonnet when I get in. <laughs> and who's your character again? Uh, Demetrius. So everything's exactly the same. It's just female. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have one eye in the center of their forehead. Yeah, I realized I forgot to write everyone's names oh, no. down, so I'm like <laughs> learning it with you yeah. guys. So uh, uh, Demetrius <laughs> is a uh, human Dromar, half orc. But in, in, instead of orc, it's giant. And instead of giant, giant, like Jotun, it's Cyclops. Because I'm from Iblidos, which is the Pathfinder version of Greece. I like mazes and stuff. I was like, it, it works out for being a thaumaturge rogue. Mm-hmm. I wish I understood half of what you said. That's <laughs> Everybody in the room wishes they understood half of what I just said, including myself. Like... I did a farkle ton of Googling. <laughs> like, I, w- I was like... I, I have expanded my knowledge with this character. Yeah. Yeah, my, how like, much second edition have you played? This will be the third character I've made. Okay. But how much have you played? I am in one... I am on book three? Book two or book three of uh, Vaults. Okay. So, but you understand the mechanics and the synergies and stuff like that? Ish. No. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. No, I'm play, I played a swashbuckler and I thought he was going to be like a path one swashbuckler and it's not. Uh, oh no! And no. Uh, the second character I made was a sword and board fighter to try to like understand. I don't. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm just learning. I'm cool. learning. Cool. I'm making an, an, uh, yeah. an, an so uh, an, an sorry important real quick to learn uh, it. Demetrius, and, and instead of Demetrius, it's Demetrius. Like the, yeah, like yeah. yes. Um, and then yeah. So she is again. Just think. Okay. Lilu, but she's also a ghoul. So Lila? she had. Yeah, Leela. Sorry, Lee. Why, what did I think of Lilu? Both Fifth works, whatever. Lilu Dallas Multipass. And what's your class? 
I am a, a mastermind rogue and a amulet thaumaturge. Okay. Yeah. That sounds really so cool. We, we dual classed. We didn't know if you were going to. No, 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 no. I We are dual class. I know. I know. I, yeah. <laughs> we're doing a different dual class. You'll see. Yeah. So uh, everyone arrives at uh, the manor. Uh, it's um, the... It's a large house built in a more modern style, with ribs, skulls, and femurs accentuating the predominantly brick construction. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, a few outbuildings, storage sheds, workers' homes, and like also surround the courtyard. Um, as the three of you get arrive mostly at the same time, um, you are met by a ghoul, and... He says, I am called Mirk. Come with me. And uh, as he takes you across the courtyard, uh, you're going to the large manor house um, where you see a halfling woman who's just smiling and waiting for everything to go well. And then... Uh, one of the zombie workers turns and like sniffs and like looks hungrily at Trek and uh, the Blood Lord kind of sighs and Mirk uh, also sighs and kind of uh, snaps his fingers and um, a human woman comes up, apologizes to the Blood Lord, apologizes to Mirk, apologizes to you guys in that order, and then snaps her fingers, getting the zombie's attention again, and guides the zombie back to working the courtyard. Ooh, wonderful. Um, but you see a halfling of medium height and middle age stands on the villa's porch. She wears a yellow dress with ruffles and an orange cloak, with the hood thrown back to show her brownish-red curly hair and necklace of grisly charms. Um, she holds a gnarled black staff topped with a pig's skull, which she taps on the porch's wooden rail to keep the zombie's attention, uh, while uh, the servant takes care of it. And to the three of you, she says, Welcome, welcome. I am, of course, Bloodlord Berlin. I have heard so much about you, which is a lie. But I want <laughs> you to feel important. <clears throat> we do feel important. You invited us here. Excellent. Oh, uh, yes, we should. And, and what can we do for you? Uh, is there a honorific that she would be, like, do we call her Lord lady do we call her blood lord um like your grossness asking her she's just like oh berlin's fine um like you get the sense that the only that the only reason you would say address her as the blood lord is if you were begging for forgiveness ah. not to be destroyed immediately of course of course time. you said her name is herleen Berlin. 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 She's Berlin in the sheets and Blood Lord in the streets. Yep. And uh, she says, well, uh, no use discussing business over an empty stomach. Everyone, come in, come in. And uh, already waiting in there, uh, kind of passively, is... Uh, a dwarf uh, with looks like a Nagaji wrapped around, stitched together awkwardly. Looks like they shouldn't be able to move, but they do. Um, and the dwarf is just sitting there patiently. Oh, uh, this is what? What was your name, dear? Bogdan the Vile. Bogdan the Vile. That's right. Uh, Ogden? Bogdan. B O G D A. Oh, Bogdan. Okay. Bogdan the Vile. V I L E. In case Because he does throw vials. 
Oh, that's funny. V I A L. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just the vial, Bogdan the vial. And then, uh, okay. and then she's like, "Oh, and what's your name?" And he kind of slumps a bit as uh, the dwarf kind of goes slump a bit. And then the, the Nagaji head raises up and just says, Hiss. And, What? Yep. Interesting. Is that a party trick? Share body. Share brain. My brain now. So, um... Our characters are basically each half of a dual class. I'm playing a Nagaji cleric, zombie cleric of Urkathoa, attached to um, a dwarven ghoul gunslinger. Are you a quato? Uh, more like stitched together, like a really bad Siamese twin thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, a quato would be really cool, too. Quato would be cool. It Terrifying. Just size <laughs> differences, but. Um, the story we came together is someone was just <clears> like <throat> Island of Doctor Moreau s- shit. Yeah, I love. I want to put them together, and I got this handy dwarf. There's dead bodies. Yeah, Do wouldn't it? Want? A long, long, long time ago, like they tried to do, like they would put a dog's head on a whatever body and try to keep it alive through yeah. heart yes. beating and stuff. Like it's a very similar. Yeah, they just. Mm-hmm. There's also Highly like unethical. necral energy, yeah. and you're like, well, I mean, it wouldn't work otherwise, but poof, magic. <laughs> I and love she's it. She's like, ah, oh, yes, apparently a very enterprising researcher was trying to combine undead in new and different ways and keep them mm-hmm. there and separate at That's the same time. Fascinating. It is. I'd like to sit down and discuss you at some point. I'm not awake. Yes, yes. Well, I, yeah. yeah. Always discuss. Yeah. And then Wonderful. it says after dinner. And it reaches into its stomach, grabs some brain, chomps, and then sleepily goes back. And then Bogdan wakes up. Writing that down. Brains okay, what did I miss? For the change. No, no, just intriguing. Wonderful. I have to take some notes. Okay. Right. What, what, what notes on what? On you, and it, and oh, it was talking again, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does that. Is, is that how you refer to it as it? I refer to myself as it too. So oh, that's fine. I'm just trying to understand. And, I, and his big spider just like crawls up on his head, and he doesn't. Is is the spider you toupee? He's <laughs> <laughs> just sitting up there, and he's like, it's it's just the spider Trump. Yeah, he's he, and also when he does that, he just gets like very still. There's like, like two he's, fangs he's, by his eyes. Got a like, got move. a thing over there. <laughs> I can take care of it if you want. You see this big old rifle and he just aims at you. I can take care of it. Uh, I'd rather you did. Okay. It might get mad. It seems to keep coming back. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. We did that research a while ago. That was really interesting. Um, and last time it wasn't very happy. No, it still doesn't like me. It, that I, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll look at the spider. Uh, do I, I? I would imagine I know the spider's name at this point. He probably knows it, but he's too scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the spider shall not be named. Mm-hmm. He's just a witch of. Uh, His name is Rufus. His name is Bob. <laughs> it's I. It's the shadow uh, counter. Shadow. Is it the whispering something? Yes, yeah, the whispering. And his the uh, one of the things is is one of his feasts for the spiders. It actually gets taken over by the patron. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So uh, it it what happens is you can spend an action and then the patron gives the spider a full turn. The patron being the character, or the patron being the patron like a, being the one giving him yeah. spells. So he, okay, oh, okay. Ba- basically, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a use a focus, and then once per day, the uh, instead of him having to divide the action up with mm-hmm. the between him and the familiar, the familiar just gets three. The actions. grantor of spells goes, no, this is mine. Yep, for for Spirit one whole turn. Here you go. It does and, what I want it to do, and that's the end. Of the, yeah, and my familiar and then, is a balance of luck. 
Yeah. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> the the Witch of the Remaster got really cool. Hmm. Like it was okay before, but it was kind of complicated. PF one witches were awesome. But the PF one witches are still my favorite of all time. Like a halfling cursed uh jinx witch. Absolutely my favorite thing. Ain't to nobody getting past. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my new halfling portent wizard in fifth edition too. I'm like ha 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 you get a one and you get a one and everybody gets a one <laughs> and all the enemies get minus ones because <laughs> of the jinx curse yeah uh but you guys are led to a dining room uh you see tiny colorful bone tiles and intricate patterns decorate most of the walls and floor uh, much of the furniture is made of a mix of wood and polished bones oh beautiful anybody you know Let's see. Horace at this time probably so, just so looks. He doesn't know, but skeletons when they heal, they have to collect bones. They collect bones. Oh yeah. I didn't yeah. mean anybody related. I just meant anybody he might know. <laughs> you went. Oh, he is a, she's offensive. In case he's like, no, it's just it's a chair. <laughs> I don't know. But again, it's still. Being brought into a dining hall, and if she knows him at all, yeah, I... it offends him to no end to basically be like, "Here's this lavish feast," <laughs> and he literally is like, "Call me when you need I, me." I was turns and walks fifty back fifty out. away from doing an inventor investigator so that I could create a body for you. Basically, eventually you could upgrade to skeleton automaton, like. Here's a stomach. Like, uh, what's the movie with Robin Williams? Oh, Bicentennial Man. Yeah. Like, eventually, just, here's a stomach. Here's a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen that. I'll have to take a look. It's oh. actually a really it's good so movie. It's so good. It's, oh. I have it. There are comedic parts, but there are also some really heartbreaking parts. Well, he, oh, he yeah. does both really good. He does. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah what do they serve well like I said he just kind of looks turns walks back out and says call me when you actually need me well need you now so you'll just have have to to stay stay for the presentation (laughs) Uh, so on the table she's like I have a timeshare is um, a mix of foods there's a main course of sweet and savory chicken egg and almond pie uh, there are bowls of steamed grains caramelized onions raisins stewed vegetables there is uh, a human you think elven arms somewhere around there they kind of mix together but they're covered in a uh, savory sauce like a nice garnish and then uh, there's a nice uh, uh, jelly mold full of brains uh, for our zombie folk. Um, there's some exotic cheeses. Some of them you do notice uh, are like crawling towards uh, uh, Trek, going, eat me, eat me. Face bolt goes, <laughs> <laughs> And if you do, she just laughs. <laughs> and then uh, a couple of uh, skeletons in uh, skimpy wear come in Made with uh, uh, what am I thinking? What of? is skimpy wear for a skeleton? Fishnets? Like I was thinking bikini, but I'm like I don't know what it is. I've seen it some white girls that could be skeletal and bikini. Forget it would be um, probably like sheer flowing yeah. robes. And, I thought it'd be like coquettes or something. I don't know. But with a saris and skirts and things like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Couple of them come in and just take out this uh, bone meal ointment and start rubbing uh, Horace down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is the best way to eat. And I'm treating I'm everyone here. Looking at the elf arm, I'm like, that's finger licking good. I'm just <laughs> licking those fingers. Yep, I'm, I'm chicken fingering <laughs> the crap out of those. And then I'm, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, as on the side, uh, they ex- 
have written this as for all of you to be alive, so they only mention alive people foods for everything, yeah. so we've had to make up what the dead eat. Well, you very easily could have said nobody could be dead, okay. but we were already there anyway, so. Uh, I want <laughs> everyone to have a chance to be dead. It's Gev. That's half the reason to be half here. The fun, That's right? half the, yeah. The point of being in Gib is you're probably already dead. Yeah. I was really hoping there was a void kineticist. <clears throat> There's not. That was, cause in the playtest, that was so much fun. Doing, like, negative healing. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, so, uh, during throughout the meal, uh, it's a time to get to know each other. And... Because she hints that you're going to be working together oh, for a cool. while. So get along. Uh, and uh, I have chosen you guys because uh, I know you have a particular set of skills. And I need you to do a couple things for me. Well, we're always happy to appease the Blood Lord. Excellent. Excellent. You I like. And you I like. I like you too, Trek. Anyway, so <laughs> your mission is twofold. Uh, your first thing is that I need you guys to watch out for Horace over here. I'm very worried about him. He's been very mopey, very not enjoying being <sighs> undead. And I need you to help him cope with that. See the wonders of a life. And the best way to do that is to get him back in the field. Something to do. Yeah. The best way to feel alive, unalive, alive, mm -hmm. unalive. The the joys of unalive is to kill someone else. Exactly. I mean, that's you're not wrong. Uh, Bogdan has put on his mask. Okay. Describe the mask. He's got a porcelain mask. It's a fine mask, and it looks dwarven in nature. And the skin isn't because he's he's got ghoul t tonality. He's got like the light blue skin and stuff like that. But it's to basically to look like how, who he used to look like. Cool. I really wish you had read the backstory stuff for Gab specifically, uh, Dark uh, Greater, because there are dwarves who live underground. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're way different than Alkenstar yeah, yeah. dwarves. It'd just be interesting to see how you feel about them. No, I'll, I'll take a look. It's like if you go into Chol or not Chol, what is it called, Grund, and you see the albino dwarves. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, that's weird. weird. No, he's, <laughs> no, I he's it. fine with the dwarves. He he just hates himself because he turned into a ghoul. Sure, sure. And I love myself for being a ghoul. Oh. I, get, <laughs> I get to try wonderful things and get to do cool stuff. I'm just sitting over eating and like, I'm just happy to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading the lore about ghoul and I was like, I want to be an elven ghoul because they're super, super rare. Yeah. But they're really powerful. I was like, hmm, that's cool. They have and... a unique name. Uh, and then the other thing is that um, uh, as a blood lord, I have incredible powers, lots of responsibilities, and paperwork, Eat and competition. Uh, I'm closely affiliated with Reanimators, one of the great factions. I'm responsible for raising and maintaining the undead labor force that operates Greater Just Farms. We grow lots of food and gab. It's a peace offering to the living around us. It helps get them thinking about food and not attacking us futilely again. Because that's what happens to all of them. They Makes come them here, think about they them die. eating food instead of them being eaten as food. Exactly. That's right. <clears throat> uh, and also, when it, the more we farm, the less they think about the human farms, which is a touchy subject of the living for some reason. Mm. So, when now that our branding has associated Gibbs Farms with apples and grains and raisins, they don't think about their fellows being turned into steaks for ghouls and stuff like that. 
So, it's all very good business. However, um, in the last few days, I learned of some trouble at one of the farms that supplies food for the people of Grey Dirge itself. Old Ergag's Farm. It's built on the foundations of an old stone dwelling of some kind, possibly as old as Grey Dirge itself. Well, the farm missed a few shipments. I sent some workers to investigate, but they couldn't get too close. There were zombies roaming everywhere. I can't imagine any of the charge hands abandoning their duties, much less all of them, so I suspect found play. That's where you lot come in, for your second mission. Remember, therapy first. Mm. Now this. Um, I want <laughs> you to go to old Ergax farm and put the place back in working order. Uh, from the sound of it, the zombies caused a fair bit of damage. Broken enclosures, doors, uh, wrench from hinges, crops trampled, charge and slain. Uh, fix what you can, recover any food that's worth eating. Um, Trek, that, that's why you're here, dear. Uh, okay. As a representative of the living, we need to know if you can eat it or not. Right. Well, that's okay. why we have our... our uh... Uh, what's it called? Our token live guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our token quick. No, no. No, no we don't. All right, so out of character. We don't know you're quick, or we do know you're quick. Quick means living. Yeah, you probably know him. We, we probably okay. do now, because she just told us. All right, well, I can, I, I'm just, we can smell him. Yeah. yeah. Don't, I'm just making sure that <clears throat> in character and out of character that we're all on the same page, because I don't want to assume something about yeah, somebody's he character. People probably do know he's alive, but he does do... Well, I know that sometimes we can do, like, salves to help you smell dead. Yeah, and he does roll around the garbage heap or does whatever he needs <laughs> to do to not smell as... Living. Yeah, as living. Okay. No, no, we don't use that term in polite company. Oh. We use it everywhere else. Yeah. Uh, um... Uh, uh, what the uh, crops does? Is it air gas? Air air gax? Air gax. Air gax. It's, right uh, gags. <laughs> it's up there on the map. It's just up there. Oh, 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 yeah. oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, I was pretty close. Um, a G H. I, I put a out. S instead of a G H. Mm, let me see if I can remember by looking. Um. I think there's, uh, they do a few specialty things, but uh, grains, and I think there's an orchard there. Um, let's see. So the zombies were workers, and they seem to be freely milling about. Yeah, okay. as if no one's directing them. Uh, um, and then, most importantly, I like you to find out what happened and report back. Uh, you should seek out Braddock. Braddock. He's in charge. Uh, he's the only mem living member of the workforce, and he's a distant cousin of mine. You'll know him by his bare feet and red hair. What, uh, what race is he? Halfling. Halfling. Halfling, thank you. If he's not there, look around and see what you can find. Uh, as payment for your services, I'll sing over to the the deed to an abandoned manor just outside the city oh. came into my possession recently and I can think of no better use for it than to reward my new friends Would uh, a new for home their service. make you a little less mopey? Probably not. Oh, well. <laughs> I forget. This guy doesn't have eyes. I'm like, hmm. I mean, he just kind of gives you that blank stare that a skeleton has. Yeah. Can you smell... I mean, yes, he no. does smell. So, no, like, like... Oh, he doesn't have a nose. How would he smell? So, I don't know. How does he talk? nothing in the rules that states that a skeleton doesn't have... He can smell. Normal, like, he can see, he can, he can smell, he can speak, and all that. Um, it's it's really up to however Casey wants to... Oh, I know how I'm playing him. And I love it. He's, he's a skeleton. Yeah. He does not have senses the way we have senses. Right. That's why he's annoyed when she's like, we're going to eat. He's like, I can't taste anything, let alone have a stomach to fill. 
You yet. thought she didn't care about you. She saw I, those cracks I, in your bones. You haven't eaten in a while. Yeah, you were the Probably. only one who had maidens come out and rub you down. Like that. I mean, I don't want maidens because I'm a girl, but... I mean, you can have maidens. I, I'll take maidens. Like, I, you, you, Demetrius would be like, oh, pay for me. I don't care who does it. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Brian. I, mean, I always just, because of you calling him Demetrius, I remember the whole Night Stalkers game. Yeah. Dimitri and Morgan. Yeah. And that when it was in development, the guy that was in charge was talking to the Japanese developers, and he's like, okay, Morgan. And they're like, oh, that's a vampire. And he's like, no, she's supposed to be a succubus. And they're like, what's a succubus? Yeah. And he told them, and the Japanese have ever since been like, succubus are awesome. Yeah, of course <laughs> they do. <laughs> And I didn't realize that they didn't have succubi in Japan until I read that. They have only... they have something. Yeah, that yeah. Is, it's, it's not. It's kitsune. not obviously not called that. No, no. Fox, well, some of their fox spirits. So are. kitsune do their so kitsune have three different variations, and the the most ancient version of a kitsune kitsune is a beautiful naked woman whose back is hollow like a tree, like a mm-hmm. bark. Yeah. And then there's fox spirits, but those are those are kitsune in the way that werewolves are wolves like they're they're a shapeshifter variation and most people think the original kitsune were uh motherless women who've had abortions like unintentionally who then steal children from like lost like hansel and gretel style yeah Mm -hmm. but it's yeah it's it's all terrifying and then there's kitsunes who kill married men who cheat on their wives and do stupid shit but they're not also they're called something else as well like something women yeah 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 my wife would know all I'd sit her down and be like, hey, tell us all about Japanese folklore. She's like, what do you want to know? Oh, There's some crazy I stuff a, out there. Kitsune. A kitsun. Kitsun. Yeah, I caught one. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, okay, so let's head out there. Yeah. Uh, uh, where Where is the farm in relation to Great Dirge? It's not near the new. Uh, so, uh, so uh, out of character, in character, uh, you, you all would know this, and I would introduce you. Um, Dimitri's is not directly related or connected to the tax collectors, but that is like her sugar daddy is. And that's how she's eventually. So my, I'm taking feats that are allowed. Like I get free scrolls every day. I get free. Yeah. Like uh, the nobility. Yeah. And uh, it's just, uh, <laughs> she does she isn't, she's just really pretty. And she's like, I want free stuff. And he goes, okay. Cause a vampire yeah. is her sugar daddy. And he's like, I got nothing but time and money <laughs> and I'll spend it on you. Sounds about right. But yeah, so if you uh, the, the other question I was going to ask is, Here. what's the state of the taxes on the farm? That's probably outside the purview of the AP. Well, they're paid up. Oh, perfect, perfect. Well, then we absolutely need to attend mm-hmm. and figure out what's going on because a, a, a rampaging farm is not a farm that is collecting taxes. What? Who's the? What's what's your guys' intelligences? Ten. Ten. <laughs> Smart. That's it. More than ten. Which which requires intelligence, right? Both. Oh no, you you did dex. Uh, which yeah, so you need at least a fourteen, I think. My intelligence is a plus three. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's 16, a minimum. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. sixteen minimum. Yeah, yeah. Mine's a mine's a twelve. I ask because I've got a lot no, of crafting. She's pretty and stupid. I've got a lot of crafting, so I'm like, if you want yeah. me to do the magic crafter and stuff. Like if that. you want me to break something, I will. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, I figured uh, we could. could if we I, I mean, in all honesty, crafting. you have to realize he is carrying an eight foot, an eight foot great um, sword. Oh yeah, he's so, got a buster blade. Yeah. Oh yes, he. Has Fred a doesn't blade. have to do it, but if Fred falls into the the trick item or item crafting. Mm-hmm. That that's a very real thing that they can do. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, level have... one, Fred has all skills trained. Oh, that's cool. I have all but one because I, and not, but now actually, I don't have any lore trained, but I do. Have I'm lore. I'm well. I have lore for free. I I I'm. How I, do you I, not I took... have acrobatics? Oh, it is. It just the, it's... it pushed the seven into the yeah. margin. It, so you can't it does see that it. with the very first one. I don't know why it does it. Huh. Okay. Yeah. This so, is, is a quirk of Fred's <clears> builder. <throat> Yeah, I didn't take performance solely because I didn't want. Uh, I, she doesn't perform; she okay. just is. Yeah, mm-hmm. so. that's valid. 
And it's funny because I have like stealth, deception, and thievery. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Yeah. yeah so, but I have yeah. mine for different reasons than you have yours. Yeah. Okay. I have mine because I had no choice but to take all of them. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. And I, I could have just give you everything. So rogue and witch. Again, you get you get your free witch. He gets free rogue because of thief, which is acrobatics, and then uh, or athletics. He got athletics because he took acrobatics as for his background, and then witch gave. No, my gives background's you... haunted. Oh, that's right. Mm. See, I thought I was doing good when I had eleven skills. No, I, I also have all. So as rogues, and... because of dual class, you get they both. get both. Skills. Oh, okay. And so yeah. there's okay. It's a super skill. Trick. Okay, okay. I'm sitting yeah. here and I'm like, I feel bad. Like you guys are like eighty thousand skills. I'm like, I got eleven. No, yeah, yeah. We're we're still capped I mean, out. At I mean, you have more than me. Okay. Six. And you I'll have be much more than I'll me. have seven legendary because esoteric lore auto scales. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. So I didn't need to take any other lores because esoteric lore and that level one diverse lore means I have all lores at minus two. That's cool. Forever. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. Yeah. So I have to take performance at I think it was ten. I don't remember when I, I get I get I get a very specific. I have to take one in int eventually oh. i don't remember at what level I, if i did it at 10 or 15 and then i was like i have performance because it's the only skill i have left <laughs> well you could pick a different lore that you would get at full bonus that's true that's true because you won't. can take infinite lore so oh, horus yeah. how did you oh, become yeah. this way define this way yeah you notice horus has a huge crack on his skull I'm just You're not all of helping. You. Like, I know how I got the way I am. I think he wants to know how you became a bone daddy. How I became undead? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. Yeah, we're trying. I keep peppering him for information about his history, but he just doesn't know anything. Oh, uh, if one of our tasks is to make you happy, yeah. gotta figure that out. Somehow, I regained a semblance of consciousness. Long after I was raised. Oh, yeah. I, well, I yeah, don't know to me. when I was raised. I don't know where I was raised. I have images of my previous life. See, that's what kind of happened I to was me. not in Geb. I died a dwarf, woke up, stitched to that thing, and a ghoul. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's not my choice. Again. And that, and that thing's a zombie. Yeah... Um, does the brain act as a suppressant for the or a catalyst? I don't know. I don't. Oh, that's cool. I'm just making notes. <laughs> oh, it, are we on our way now? I, I imagine we're. Uh, or was walking there and still talking. more? I hope we're walking and talking. Yeah. Because uh, this seems like the walking and talking conversation. Yeah, sorry, not I thought that. we were. That's what it's we're doing. It's okay. We didn't transition uh, fully. Uh, uh, when you go, uh, Berlin says, oh, by the way, Excuse me. Uh, watch out for Mashkuta. Uh, it's the zombie boss cow. Zombie there... boss cow? Yeah. Love it. Ma- uh, Mashkuta. Say that again. Mashkuta. 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 Yeah. Uh, a nice name. I'm sorry. Fun name. I'm saying it wrong. Uh, M-O-S-G-H-U-T-A. Mashkuta. I had the H and G switched in my head. One is really Boss cow. I love it. Uh, he's very tough. D30. Um, uh, okay. And is that cow part because of the years and years farm? and years yeah. ago? Or is that just a wild? I owned a D30 cow that terrorizes. Because I thought quick. it was really cool. Because I was a teenager so, and I liked that. The Scuta was a uh, cow raised for labor. I got labor. a D100. It's over there. Uh, but because of its size and its power, uh, the other yeah, undead cow D30 instinctually in follow it. And I oh. bought it because so, I thought it was okay. cool. Uh, it helps the uh, charge hands control and then more I lost undead it because with my you original tell dice. the Scuta what to do. The other undead will follow. Oh, I love it. That's effective. Yeah, it's like uh, with the witches in Left 4 Dead. Like, all the undead will... Because she makes noises, and they're just like, hey! Yeah. You can use her to take 
the, the computer AI is not great. It's better now, but in the mm-hmm. time, like you could use her scream to lead like well, a small. Else, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't think of the word. I was like, I, there's a word there, and I can't. I, I got an intelligence <laughs> of ten. I'm just pretty. Leave me alone. <laughs> What's your charisma? Eighteen. Oh, you are pretty. I'm so pretty, and my strength's also eighteen. I'm, 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 I'm Leela. I'm pretty and strong. Yeah, the response is like, "Oh, you are pretty." Yeah, I am pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like, you don't got to tell me. Like, I, I, I yeah, man. It was like I, I came back with a super long tongue and awesome nails that I can paint, and they never go away. They can't chip or break or anything. That's valid, valid. So the farm is 16 miles uh, Good southwest. Night. That's nothing. Uh, or undead, Raider. that's nothing. You going to be okay? <laughs> Might have to take a couple of breaks. Uh, uh, Cindy. Can you, well, I can carry you if necessary. You're small, right? Yeah. He's a rat folk. Yeah, he should be small. Yeah, I can carry you. If one you, of you us as well, need to, yes. Because we have the same strength. Yes. Although, to be fair, your applied strength is better than mine. Because my, my strength is finesse, not really finesse, but I, I it's like uh, like power lifting woman's strength. Like they can look thin, but they're muscular they're as well. But yeah, like they're... he in his he was Arnold's skeleton, you know. <laughs> and that's I can't see you any other way. You're like Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. but as a skeleton. <laughs> I'm just he just goes like this, and there's like a little uh, like a like, you know when you Calcium break bump. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nah, it's like yeah. the cartoons, exactly. Yeah. Oh. He flexes and his bones have muscles. It's like, so how do you do that? One of my favorite story uh, movie things, I have a friend that work in Hollywood. Arnold Schwarzenegger had the sword from Conan the Barbarian specifically made, and it weighed 25 pounds. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so insane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was just like, just dumbbelling it. And you see some of the stuff he does, you're like, he's doing it for that. Real. Yeah, like that's stupid strong. I mean, mm-hmm. of course he is because he's Mr. Olympia seven times, but still, yeah. I like 25 pounds to me, and I'm not a small guy. I'm like, no, thank you. I I'm not it. swinging that around, I hated right? Wielding real swords. Yeah. Like they're 15 pounds. Like, what the heck am I going to well, do? With 15, well, 15, no, seven would be a great sword, but yeah. Because yeah. the, the ones that we were wielding, they were heavy. Sure. Because they were. They didn't want you hitting people. Hmm. Sure. Surprisingly, yes. when you when you have a fifteen pound weight, uh, you're yeah, around. Scottish Flameberg, the heaviest ever was eight foot three inches, and it was seven point three pounds. Oh, fascinating. But still, seven pounds is a lot, a lot to swing around for any period of time. Mm-hmm. Like I swing a one pound wooden rattan sword, and after about fifteen swings, I'm tired. I could not imagine twenty five pounds. Jesus, Arnold. Oh, anyways. Oh, yeah, let's bring up that conversation while we're driving. Um, I mean, you can talk about uh, uh, Horace's sword. We're not in polite company anymore. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, how much does your sword weigh, Horace? Good question. <laughs> he hasn't seen his sword. He's compensating. Well, he's got to compensate with something. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're like, well, I lost that in the war. <laughs> <laughs> Buster sword. <laughs> it's more like guts. Did you sword. watch the session zero? Yeah. Because that like ten minutes left, I was like, hey, you know, you can be a giant instinct barbarian and have a really big sword in case he was like, that's an easy sell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was an easy 16 sell. Sixteen miles. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we are undead, I guess. Three well, the, of the four. So, of the for very obvious reasons, the the normal farms are very far outside of the city. Understandable. For yeah. very obvious reasons, yeah. as she explained to us. Hmm. Um, along it's the Wakanda. way, you pass distant stone and bone walls of other farms in the states and gray dirges hinterlands. The road winds a few low, winds between a few low foothills before leading to. A sprawl of tilled fields nestled in wide, flat valley. A large, rocky outcrop being dominates the center of the valley. An ancient, high stone wall encompasses a compound on the valley floor at the northwest corner of the outcropping. Um, okay. Oh, here it is. Uh, old Urgag's primary crops include those... Uh, most easily cultivated in the wide fields between the r- relatively broad low hills in the area. 
um, which include grains, tubers, peas, and lentils. Uh, some efforts have been made to cultivate dates and olives, uh, but field grown crops are far easier to manage than trees with a workforce of mining zombies. Oh, so, yeah. Totally still makes working sense. on that. Oh, mm. top you okay, there. Fred? Uh, I'm just looking for a core book. You, you want the player core because we're using remaster rules. Oh, Which is right on top. Yeah. Which is right on top. <laughs> Uh, Casey's got both right in front of him. Why don't you just ask him to borrow those? Because I might need it, and he might need his. That's fair. I might need my first spells. I don't, because oh, yeah. Barbarian and Fighter are not in this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like... No, I need Player Core 2. Yep. When it comes out. Uh, <clears throat> August? <clears throat> I thought, thought it was June or July. Oh, it might be. It, it, I, I was going to say, I'm not sure. Summer months, most likely. Like this month, the Monster Core is coming out. And then I think it's a month or two later, June or July, yeah. for Player Core 2. Oh, it's going to be before August, because August is when PaizoCon is. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. As a, an aside, I was disappointed that they just called it Player Core 2. I wanted it Player Core 2 Core Harder. <laughs> <laughs> But I wasn't. Honestly, charge. if you'd have just called it hardcore, <laughs> GM Core <laughs> 2, GM Harder. <laughs> How do you play harder? <laughs> Take away one hit point. <laughs> but basically, uh, that big map out there is you see the high walls outside. Uh, there are conveniently marked layers and numbers. Floating yeah. above the farm to mark uh, places <laughs> for me to describe. Yeah. I mean, my only real question is, is this the actual grid size or is this a half grid size? Oh, so it's half this grid. this is the actual grid size. Uh, oh, the uh, squares aren't one inch. They're ha they look like half they are. inch. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry. The squares are supposed to be, um, but... Uh, when I had Staples print as a poster, that was the size I got. And then when I saw the squares on there, I was like, I'm glad I didn't try to make them one inch because this map would have been huge. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what, probably what, triple the cost? Probably. Because it, it, it's not the print, it's the size, right? It's okay. It's not like we have two, two squared maps directly underneath it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you can use that as reference, and then I'm guessing four squares fits a figure. So yeah, uh, we can also just use it that way once battle breaks out. What do you but, mean once? Yeah. If if when oh, oh when. when when all right fair enough. Um, as we get closer to the farm, mm -hmm. uh, so it's still early in the day, right? Because you yeah, said we were it's about we passed noon. breakfast stalls. All right. Bogdan's going to and we don't take have any... about 15 feet. Let them walk up. Yeah. About... We don't have any vampires or dampiers. We're no, no, all no. ghouls, zombies, and quick, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let and them skeleton. be about 15, 20 feet ahead, and he's just going to like stay back. Because uh, we don't know what the situation we're going into. He's going to be careful and mm -hmm. cautious, yeah. and he's going to have his... Rifle out and be stealthy. So I don't know if I need to roll it. How good's your perception? It's a plus eight. Nice. Uh, they get expert. You gonna? Yeah, I know. You're gonna get a scope at level four. I might. It enables you to do that at double the distance. Yeah. That's good. You better. <laughs> are, are we? We haven't decided if we're doing APB yet, have we? Um. No idea what that means. It's so, uh, automatic, automatic bonus, bonus progression, progression, so we don't have to worry about getting plus one runes and stuff. We just get them at a certain level. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, so that way Brian can just give us consumables as treasure instead of, here's a plus one gun or here's a plus one whatever. The last I was told uh, for my member of Recession Zero about was that we were just going with standard treasure oh. in here. I'm not going to use uh, And then we could just buy it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I mean, I'm fine however you want. I just was curious in general. So Yeah. It'll be, it's important for the future. Uh, Casey won't ever use a different weapon. No. <laughs> ever. Ever. Uh, neither will I. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
uh, Casey has to <clears throat> have a large size greatsword. Period. Period. Not, I mean, well, not period, but, but yeah. to maximize my character. Okay. Yes. <laughs> his weapons have to be large size, so right. he has to have his own weapons. He can yeah. move stuff onto them. Um, and the raw is the only weapon that's large size that he gets access to is the one at character creation. Oh, really? Yeah, so otherwise he has to find it in game if it's a different large size weapon. Fascinating. Yeah. Or make it. Or make one New York. Which I can. Yep. I That's don't. why I was like, I want to. I mean, weird synergy, but like an inventor, a weapon inventor, giant barbarian instinct. Like, I just, <laughs> that's the Buster Sword from uh, Children's Advent, where he's like taking it apart and yeah. putting it together and doing cool shit. Like, that that would be that concept. Uh, so part of the thing is he's a anvil dwarf, so he. Oh, nice. He has specialty crafting, but he gets two specialties instead of just yeah. one. And also Every time gets... you take the feat, you get to choose two specialties instead of one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also has alchemical uh, oh, cool. crafting. He got that from being a gunslinger. Yeah. So because for bullets and stuff, crafting yeah. munitions. But you get it for all, of it, right? Is it just munitions, or so it's just alchemical? I, I took the feat munitions crafter. Right. It gives you the feat, but I get but the only formula free is... one a day. Right. And I can only right. use those on bombs and ammo. Right. Mm-hmm. But I can still craft them. No, no, that's cool. Yeah. I was just making sure. I yeah. Um, I also have eight formulas. Yeah, just at, yeah. So at level eight, I will get four free talisman, two free scrolls, and then I'll have a purse that I can one per or uh, I don't remember what I think it's. There's a cost. I don't remember what the cost is. Basically, I just put my hand in a backpack and I can pull something of a particular value out of it that we need. Like oh, we need a crowbar. I have a Mary Poppins purse. Mm -hmm. And then at higher levels, it's unlimited price. It's just once per day, like, here's a level nine scroll that we just happen to need to unlock that arcane door. It was like, that's, I just want that concept. Yeah, they did that with the um, the operative in Starfinder, which was super cool. Mm -hmm. That's where they got it from. Uh, I saw the Starfinder Envoy release for second edition. So cool. I was like that. That if you want to play a pacifist character, that's the coolest thing ever. Uh, Brian and... will definitely be playing one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for your information, the wall around is ten feet. Okay. And okay. then uh, you can see at the tops of buildings they top at uh, eleven they feet. Like they're in disrepair. And then uh, the rocky outcropping. On the side. Okay. Um, okay, so this is a knoll. Higher. Yeah. Yeah, that's like it's a grassy knoll of... that like a hobbit hole yeah. built into. <clears throat> yeah, that's so cool. I really like this map. I wish it was the size. It's <laughs> a nice But I liked too. it, yeah. I but liked the material. I was also just like keeping it the scale. I'm like, it'd be four times big. I'm like, uh, it wouldn't fit the table yeah. roughly. So well, I, I can always... But yeah, I yeah. was just... It Get was my fairies. experimentation. Well, I, I have spend a bunch of stuff at home that we can utilize that'll okay. replicate close enough. Yeah, I've got some miniatures in my that, black case back there that's small enough to fit this. I have a couple mm-hmm. tiny drops now. But yeah, so. Um, I dropped a mo. Okay. Um, yeah. So from the outside, it seems quiet. Um, so the zombies are, are uh, as far as we know, they seem to be contained within the the walls. Yeah, you don't see any wandering outside of them. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, anyone uh, doing searching for their exploration activity? Uh, uh, so that's the one that I, I'm, I'm still not fully g- get on. Is my being stealthy the exploration activity? So yeah, so the avoid notice to, is exploration. Okay. So that, if you're trying to, if while you're going about, you're trying to avoid being. Uh, avoid nose more than any other thing. Okay. Uh, then yes, that okay. would be your activity. Because that's, from what I understand, that's how I have to. I have to be doing that action to be to able to roll stealth. stealth as initiative. Yes. yes. Okay. Because I need to be utilizing stealth as initiative. 
Mm-hmm. It's one less, but it, there's other things that go into that. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, yes, we we are aware of that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fred's. He's a thief rogue, uh-huh. so they get to add dex to damage and attack, and then also if he rolls stealth, they get uh, all creatures that they target during round one are flat footed. Oh, that's nice. As long as they haven't act- acted yet. Yeah. Mine is I add precision damage. Yes, Same if they're thing. flat-footed, right? It, uh, off... Oh no! It, I get it's... Oh, because you're a sniper on the first That's shot. Right. I, I just and then yeah. you uh, you can take an action to hide, concept. and then you get it again. Yes and no. It's weird. Oh. Well, I don't know anything about. I've only ever played one gunslinger, and it was uh, trigger brand for a one shot, and I didn't really understand the rules. And I only know the trigger brand because that was the only gunslinger I wanted to be. So, I'm like, Sniper, sure, you're on your own, kid. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, um... So... Is anyone taking a search? I don't... I'll be... Avoid notice. Okay. Uh, Sure, I will be searching, since no one else seems to. Mine well, is I, a plus five. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a good perception. I just. I don't either. Yeah, it's but okay. if it's everyone else is just saying nope, I'll do it. Okay. No, uh, I was looking up the uh, actions that you can take while. Uh, mm-hmm. What are they called? Something actions? Exploration. 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 Thank Activities. You. Activities. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, path builder didn't have the list. It, the website does, but the. Android version does not give you the whole list mm-hmm. of things you can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, inve- yeah, investigate is the one that I would be doing because mm-hmm. that's the one that allows me to recall knowledge. Mm-hmm. And it works since you two are avoid noticing which also halves our uh, uh, overland speed. Mine is also halved while I'm investigating, so okay. <laughs> that works out fine. Okay. And let's see. Uh, it's up to you guys. I'm just going to the front gate because right. I don't know any better. That's fine. They told us to investigate. Mine. Yeah. Front gate's fine yeah. with me. Front gate. Let's see. Yep. Uh, at the front gate, gate you find some box tech. Okay. Uh, the road <laughs> leads to a low valley filled with grain fields. Despite the harsh climate, the crops are healthy and vibrant. Narrow paths branch from the main road into the fields, but the road itself leads to a sturdy wrought iron gate in the 20 foot high wall of weathered red stone. They doubled the height on me. Sorry, it's 20 feet high. <laughs> Uh, several low stone buildings stand silent around the trampled yard be- beyond the gate. Uh, two human corpses in soiled, ragged clothes lie. One sprawls face down in the dirt. The other slumps on the gate with its arms hanging through. Its head jammed awkwardly against a small gap uh, between the gates. I'm going to ask a stupid question. Mm-hmm. Undead aren't aberrations, right? They're undead. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid that has some heft to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're my new favorite. Got these metal dice. Oh, and they're clockwork. Really mm-hmm. And let's see. And. Uh, uh, looking at the corpses, uh, Thank you. Uh, looking at the corpses, uh, Horace, you know that uh, these are still unalive zombies. Okay. Wait, what? <coughs> They're unalive zombies? Yeah. Oh, we got to use different terms. Are they dead or are they undead? So we don't use dead, undead, li- living, or live. We use quick or... It, so there's social faux pas in Gev because it's an undead kingdom. Okay. And as yeah. 
Okay. The charisma character, she would be like, you can't. It's like, you can't use those words. That's all, we're taking those words back. <laughs> so you know from my terminology. Yeah. Dead means they're Zero dead. HP. They're not going to come yeah. back. Okay. Unalive means they're undead and will come back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dead is like mechanically they're objects. Okay. Like, yeah. They're bones that Casey can manipulate. He- heal Use to with. heal myself with. Mm-hmm. You just <laughs> well, that rib's a piece of. <laughs> put a new rib in, duct tape it in. <laughs> There's just too much skin on this arm. <laughs> I mean, that's how I imagine I can when he gets that. his giant instinct. Like he's just adding more bones. <laughs> like he rages, and bones just fly up from everywhere oh, and just cool. take him up bigger. I love it. That's how I imagine it's going to be when it comes to uh, Ena Chuck. Yeah. Okay, so they're unalive zombies. Yeah. yeah. So they're normal milling zombies. They're zombies uh, that just are doing things. So I'll um, walk up to the one that's stuffed through the gate and push it back right. <laughs> through the gate. And with that, we're rolling the shit. Okay. <laughs> now that Fred is gone, it's perfect time for us living, unliving folks to hang out. Ooh, that's garbage. Um, so my uh, recall knowledge is plus seven if you ever need to roll it for yeah. something knowledge based that I <coughs> stands out like zombies not acting like zombies. There's a mm. mad cow <laughs> queen that's sitting over in the corner eating mm. ice cream going, hmm, my minions. I'm definitely going to need to pull that up again. Oh. Um, does that turn. does investigate allow me to use esoteric lore for my initiative? Because um, I'm using recall knowledge. I, mean, you, I guess you'd have to tell me the. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I so. Cool. Oh, what spell? Haunting hand. Uh, haunting oh, it's hand a bard spell. Was it's a dirge spell. Probably. It's probably in a different book. Yeah, it's uh, uh, like a seed one. So, do you not have Path Builder? Not on my phone. Oh dang! I have it on my phone, but it's not paid for on my phone. Nope, that's fine. Um, I so, yeah, it's not something that I really need to worry about. Right now. Uh, yeah, so I got the spell. Uh, if you want me to tell you about, it. Uh, but let's do initiative. I was trying to find it in. Yeah. Okay. Roll initiative, Fred. So you, mm. you're using stealth. Yeah, I already rolled a one. <laughs> okay. Already. Uh, Bogdan has a so ten point seven. Oh uh, yeah. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. We lose. Unless yeah. you have a feat. Yeah, you none lose. of us have pilgrim's tokens, so I don't know what that means. So there's a there's a feat called pilgrim's token where if you tie Absolutely. with initiative, oh, unless you're an elf as well, but yeah. Uh, there's a specific elf feat, or there's the Pilgrim's Token feat, where the GM wins all initiative ties unless you have one of those two things. Mm-hmm. And then, if you guys tie with each other, you just, you just decide. We just and, decide yeah. between us. So there's no 10 point whatever, it's just you roll the 10. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're just reminding you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like a roll 20 or whatever, or whatever you play on, they would automatically add it, but it has no bearing in the game whatsoever. So. Okay. Um, I got 22 for Demetrius. Okay. That's not bad. That's your bonus. Uh, plus 7 because of esoteric lore. Oh, nice. Alright. This is going to be fun because the gate's not open yet. Uh, but the zombies don't too. They're like, ooh, something's here. I kind of figured they wouldn't bother me because I'm a skeleton. No, they hate everyone. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so uh, first up is Demetrius. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, how many... Alpha 1. Yeah, so we're, we're basically here. Yeah, we're basically... Um, we, can, we can use... Yeah, let me... This map, if we want to just pull it down a little bit. Because we only need like six or seven squares of area. Uh, 
Even though I don't have a shield. I'm sure he is not in front there. I'm sure he already said I'm, he's like I'm about way back. back. I, I have <clears throat> shield and I... Well, I think it would make more sense to have the battle be this way. Yeah, so we'll just move in. So, gate's here. Okay. Here. And then... So, uh, as Horus goes up uh, to the gate, so. these zombies, to push the zombie out of the way, the zombies uh, start trying to reach out uh, when okay. uh, Horus gets in range. Well, I'm going to oh. move up. And then part of your oh. exploration activity for their zombie shamblers. Uh, okay. And uh, let's see. We are. Um, uh, you know they're slowed and don't have reactions. Okay. Yeah, we're base to base. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna move up next to you because it's tiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's I think it's bigger, but yeah, it's like it looks like it's a oh that's twenty. Yeah, we're good. Um, I will recall. I will exploit vulnerability, so it's another recall knowledge, but I get to make the check. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. <A> nat <laughs> Natural twenty. That's a nat twenty, so I know everything about this. Yep. So uh, any weaknesses? Their weaknesses are positive and or no vitality and slashing. Slashing? Uh, both at five. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to weakness it at a five. So um, adds five damage if I hit tap the five weakness. damage oh. if you use the right damage. Which I'm going to That's because I have claws which are slashing. So I'm going to do personal antithesis. Um, which gives me, oh, which is, uh, gains weakness equal to three. Okay. So, uh, and, that, and then I'm going to attack with a claw. No! So, uh, 21. Right, 21 will hit. Okay. And the damage is... Uh, I did successfully recall knowledge. That's, uh, so, uh, exploit vulnerability is a recall knowledge check. Mm -hmm. So that signifies my mastermind, which means I get sneak attack. It is flat footed against me. Oh, yeah. So does twenty one. Um, I'm so sorry, flat footed is not still work. Uh, off guarded now. Off guard, yeah. Yeah. But we know. So uh, because it was a critical recall knowledge, right. it's a whole minute that it's off guarded for oh, me personally. Nice. So it's not off guarded. It's just it's considered off guarded for me. Okay, so that would crit then. <laughs> really? Yep. All right. So, and then as a free action, I'm doing implement empowerment to add two damage. I'm not going to get a shot off. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. All right. So, uh, D4, two, plus four, plus, all right, so hold on. Uh, and then it's five weakness because it's slashing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, three so, 6, 11. No, weakness in that, those, those are, are after. after. Okay, so okay, 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 damage. sorry. Yeah. All right, so. 6 slashing. But it, Yeah, so everything's doubled except for the, the weakness. 8. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this, then that. So, 10, 14, 6, 12, so 20... Six, mm -hmm. and then another so, eight, so, so 34. 34. <laughs> All 
So, like, the zombie kind of is, like, reaching out, and you're just, you take your claw and, like, slice the head off yeah. in ribbons. And uh, it stops moving, so little one is dead. Uh, and that's all three of my actions. Yep. All right, uh, the zombie uh, will crawl, will uh, crawl, yeah. It's, yeah. right. it's on the ground. It's going to crawl. <laughs> Ankle biter. And yep. then oh, uh, it will try to attack uh, Demetrius. Um, not with a nine. Uh, nope. 18 is my current armor class. Yep. All right. And then after that is horse. All right, well, I draw my sword. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to cleave a zombie. Okay. Mm, that's going to be a lot. 26? Uh, 26 will crit. And crit just doubles. Yeah, crit just double. Okay. Uh, wherever you the... roll, we double it. Well, what we roll plus our modifiers. Right. So, I rolled 10, strength of 4, 14, 28. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you know, like, uh, stab your sword through the iron gate, uh, splaying the zombie in two, and it is uh, dead. All right. And combat's over. Bogdan goes, see any more? Mm, Not yet. Okay. (sighs) Okay. Let's move in then. Pathetic undead don't even recognize their own kind. The, uh, and... At, it's at this point, you notice that the gate is not locked. There's like a latch on the inside you can use, but it's open. And it uh, moves easily once you get the corpses out of the way. Okay. Well, I don't think I put my sword away since this is a reception we got. Mm. Oh, did something happen? <laughs> Nothing really. Just a couple of zombies died. Couple zombies um, that didn't understand would ten that less we're damage also dead. Have still killed it? Yeah. Okay. Because uh so I Googled that a recall knowledge and exploit vulnerability are not the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So I so until well, level seven I still have to do both to get both. Well I knew, but I also since you were investigating, that's a recall knowledge. And so Oh, that's fair. I was kind that for both, so. Okay, so it was still, okay. Yeah, so in my head, as long as you're investigating, it works before At, it. at least to the first opponent. Yeah. Okay. I am cool with that. Because otherwise I'll just defend. And then, if there are other, if there are different enemy types, I'll ask you which one you want to know okay. about. But, yeah. Alright, so. Uh. You guys open the gate, and let's see. You see a few buildings around here. Question: It's eight thirty-five. Did you want to take the break? Um, let's see. Or are we just gonna skip breaks? Well, we're not gonna skip breaks. Um, yeah, that's a good time for a break. A couple Don't. zombies died. It's exciting. Our viewers Woo. are like, "Ooh, zombies!" Tony, can I have you? click over hmm? oh so come back 8 45 yeah yep take a break get a drink everyone break <laughs> the undead are that's one thing i like about skeleton i don't have any urges you don't have anything well, uh, exactly I collect bones. <laughs> yeah, they have one of those <coughs> nice 
lesser less gruesome ones, which is why they're allowed in society play. Interesting. Uh, You're not on. That, and they uh, uh, wrote a scenario introducing them. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, we got rid of Fred because he was quick. <laughs> it's Fred's, Fred's no longer quick. <laughs> <laughs> One of us. One of us. <laughs> Quick, someone bite his character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> but what would a rat be? Vampire? Uh, a rat vamp- folk vampire would be interesting. Vampire well, he's a, he's a shadow be- rat, so it would make total sense. Just chilling in the in the dark. Vampires are just because... The whole sunlight thing. The, there's a sunlight thing. Uh, there's pretty much nothing they can do against... Anyone carrying a holy symbol, they are forced. They are repelled by it. That's yeah. weird. It's like they're under the effect of uh, turn undead when they're in the radii of a holy Im- implement. Well, then why not? That's, okay. Yeah. Well, it's, they do really cool shit. That's their balance, but it's not. That's not a balance. It's not. It's. That's, that's why I'm. I was gonna do a Dampier who tur- becomes a vampire, and I. Did, I was like, no, that's not balanced. And, uh, like, I haven't looked through the vampire stuff. It's just I've heard a lot of complaints about online, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay. Because yeah. you don't have a good way to travel throughout the day. No. They haven't invented uh, sunscreen powerful enough yet in Gab. What about or, a big or floppy a cloak hat? Or a blackened chariot, or, an, yeah, just. Yeah. For a nation of undead, that seems really, like, yeah. Okay, that's what we'll do when we become Bloodlords. <laughs> well, there's a lot of vampires in Geb. They just chill and collect money. Like, and I don't get do the else. feeling that it works in Geb because they don't have to do anything. Yeah. And, you know, adventuring, that's for the lesser yeah. undead. Also, the only negative thing about an NPC vampire is the sunlight stuff. Yeah. As a player vampire, you just get shafted. Mm-hmm. You'll get nothing cool. Not like well, ghouls. The... Ghouls get cool shit. I mean, well, no, the you do. Are it's... like that. Like Casey's playing up a skeleton this, but mechanics wise, like he breathes, you can choke him, and he'll go unconscious and die. Yep. No, he has the undead benefits. He doesn't need to breathe. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, it's the same. Like well, that's a little weird. Well, I'm yeah. like, uh, he can catch scarlet fever. And yeah, he die. Can, he's not immune. To, he gets a bonus to disease. He gets bonus, bonus to but he is not immune. He's... Employees. Not immune. But Neither are we. Die. We're oh. undead. We have the same issues. Speaking of, I wanted to make this clear because I think it's cooler this way. Um, bleed affects everyone. Okay. Undead. Yeah. Otherwise. I was about to ask. Because I'm like, I don't know if it'll ever come up with you guys. It will come up. Yeah. A well, lot. So but I like the idea that whatever causes bleed. Yeah. Uh, in, in automatons, it's oil and skeletons, it's bone marrow. If, if I remember correctly, the only race that shouldn't bleed are poppets. Well, and, and even then, but they have to take a feat for that, yeah. and flammable as well. But yeah, because you could take the stuffing out. I've. Well, it's also like NPCs get to have all these immunities and just say, "Oh, we don't have blood." Yeah. Like a ghost will never bleed, or a. NPC skeleton will never bleed, but a player is basically human in a skeleton costume, <laughs> and they like the only thing that says they can't is a GM going, "Well, of course the skeleton can't bleed, but a ghoul can," and so I'm just like bleed across the board. Everything bleeds, and it's fun with it. Everything yeah. bleeds Tell something. Me, do you bleed? Apparently, yes. <laughs> yes, once a month. But For uh, seven days, it sucks. Casey, can, Casey is a skeleton, can drink potions. Uh, he can uh, do all that <laughs> stuff. Skeleton super taster. <laughs> like, he can, he can, like, on his low points, he can drink the elixir of life and just go... Oh. <laughs> elixir of life doesn't say it does positive it just yeah. Says oh yeah no it has a heal it, it has he can drink uh, a healing vitality potion. no elixir of life just says healing it doesn't say it, vitality so it's healing vitality and positive yeah 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Remaster changed a bunch of key uh, traits. Because I looked for it. I'm like, it doesn't – healing – yeah. I was like looking for positive and it's like didn't yeah. have it. Yeah. Healing is fine. It's it's positive vitality because soothe has healing, but it does not have vitality or positive. Okay. So healing is fine. It's just anything is Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I, I did choose correctly then. Correct. <laughs> and also vitality is at Wild and Gift. Yeah. Uh, That's understandable. Positive vitality. Uh, vitality is not positive spell casting vitality, right? Spell casting vitality. So that's basically your heal spells. Yeah. But that's also like lay on regular um, lay yep. on hands. And believe it or not, a wood kineticist violates it. Yeah. Because it, it, it granted they're not casting a spell. It's enough like a spell that it it is uh, cast a spell adjacent. And I was like, that's awesome because I was. For a second, I was like, hey, Julian, maybe you'd want to play a two-year-long campaign as Swamp. And I was like, oh, no, because Goodberry will get you killed immediately. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, Hiss, uh, I took uh, the Vitality Lash just because I was like, okay, I know, but I want something to keep other undead in line. Yeah. And the Divine List doesn't have those spells. No, it does not. <laughs> Unless I take something of the vitality trait, so I'm like, I use this to keep on dead in line, and that's okay with me. Yeah. I don't care what Urkathoa says. Um, <laughs> it's a fun thing about tax collectors. Uh, basically, uh, in Geb, if you break the law and it's a very specific set of laws, that's a felony, and like you could be put to death or on death destroyed well yeah. in in his case he might just get brain wiped and then put out in the fields to work forever and ever and ever or be made into a part of a wall or something true mm -hmm. we use a lot of bones in there's a lot of bone mortar yeah also just realized i looked at the time uh we need to head back we've, we've been already, live we've, we've, we've been, been live for 10 yeah, minutes i Brian. told you that i don't remember that you were getting the one i'm like okay we're live you're like okay i don't know I don't know. welcome back to blood lords episode yeah. one yeah so, there's our ever ready DM to... Brian. Yeah, uh, and then I was like, we got rid of, we got rid of, uh, we got rid of uh, Fred because he was living. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was just your personal. Oh, life, just me? That's... Okay, no, no. Fred's just really good at being a shadow rat. <laughs> He's down there on the table. I'm a snake. <laughs> it's a spider. <laughs> but, yeah, it's one of my like the ancestries are one of my main. Criticisms for Pathfinder Second Edition in that I'm like I feel like it's all human with costumes on. Yeah. They're because they're too afraid to give mechanical benefit, and that's why I'm like. Because nobody wants to play a human. And I was well, like, it's, a humans just so good. Well, like, it's it's such a blank slate that you could do anything with, and mm -hmm. it's kind of annoying. It's mm -hmm. more that they don't allow other body types to exist so oh, sure. you can have like a, a sun well they yeah but like what you can do with a tail in second edition the only thing we know for sure is you can open and close a door you can't hold anything you, you can can't... climb with it but that's about it like it's like you take a feat to oh, yeah. use your tail to do stuff and then they're like you can't hold anything you get to use it for can't you can interact. Use it you can can't, doors. but you can't manipulate. You can't wield a weapon. You can't wield a sword. You can't that's wield stupid. a shield. You, you can't, can't do anything with yeah. it, basically. And that's behind a feat. And that's yeah, and it's behind always a behind a feat. It's not natural. Yeah. And so, well, everything's behind a feat. Uh, all races only get like one or two things. Typically, just dark vision and something cool, and then your heritage, which you might not—you could be a dwarf, but you might be an Ifrit dwarf, yeah. in which case you're not really even a dwarf. Yeah. Because you can get the same benefit being an Anvil dwarf as you can being an Ifrit dwarf, or you—you you don't, you know, you get dark vision, but or you have dark vision with red sight or you know, yeah. infrared sight or whatever. But it's like the automaton, the skeleton, the poppet, like they don't get any immunities; they get a Correct. bonus to saves. Yeah. And, like, that's well, kind of it. Here's the thing about Casey. If he goes to zero, he's dead. That's true. He's, I thought he's, he got basic nope, undead he's traits. He's gone. Nope. That, that's the Do you skeleton. Not have basic undead traits? He does, but his overrides that. If he oh, hits HP zero, he dies. Okay. He's gone. 
Let me know when you're about to die. <laughs> I've got bombs. That's why we're it's like barbarian. Take half damage at like level nine. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. But uh and so that's that's one of my fears for Starfinder is I'm like we had all these non standard senses and ways yeah. to experience the world, body shapes, extra well, and arms and right now the extra arms um, are locked behind an action. All poppets have flammable. But not all poppets are made out of flammable objects. Some are made out of porcelain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some are made out have of you not, Have you not set your toilet on fire? Right. Well, Taco no. Bell. Well, in a different way. But <laughs> <laughs> that's explosive fire, not really like... It's like right. Greek it's, fire? Yeah, yeah. I, I, understandable, understandable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but it's all in the interest of balance. And I'm like... But yeah. that lack of distinction kind of makes it all feel the same no matter what you do. It's okay. I plan on... We plan on doing the play test. And we plan on getting, reaming yeah. them a new one. So... So we'll see how it goes out. Well, hopefully by then we'll we could be more dynamic with our races when we do our own yeah yeah world building, mm -hmm. so. which we are doing. Yeah, which we're, we're working on. And uh, between Pathfinder Second Edition and my version of Fifth Edition, which is the chassis system, we mm -hmm. definitely have an infrastructure of A, B, C, D. Build something unique that even if you pick the same choices, you're going to have something you you know that's different in context because hmm. I, I in fifth edition a human fighter is a human fighter there's i mean maybe two point difference in stats it's just not unique uh, enough tony i'll give you a point for your expert zombie killing <laughs> and yeah we'll give uh casey a point also for expert zombie killing um but yeah uh, Fred, the same stack. Uh, and yeah, Fred left because he has a horrible toothache, and I will be piloting Trek for the next hour and a half, yeah. or however much longer we're playing. Yeah. Right. What time is it? It's, time. it's almost eight. Nine. About nine. Oh nine. What? No, it's not. It's almost eight. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh my God. This whole time, I've been an hour off because of daylight savings time. Really? Man, no wonder. I, yeah, I was late all day today. <laughs> I was an hour late to freaking everything. You understand, it's Friday, and the Daylight Savings Time have it on Sunday, right? I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't, apparently. Now no, you are. <laughs> I, I was late to picking my kid up yesterday, an hour. I was. Just... Oh, that's rough. No, I was, an, I was an hour early. Okay. That's what it was. I'm just like, well, uh, we can, if you just hold your arm out... Case you can throw the die out there to move time ahead on your watch. <laughs> <laughs> not the... with these. It's currently <laughs> eight seven. Seven. Okay. I went. Yeah, not with moves. these. That would shatter his wrist. <laughs> no. Nah! I believe uh, Tony's ability to be to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> well, I already. This is my. Second one, and I've already bought a third just in case. <laughs> there, I mean, they're twelve. Just bucks, in case, they're good watches, but it's just the the leather. I've been doing a lot of armor working and stuff with my friend, yeah, no. and uh, the leather. Are, these are my metal. Get. I figured I'd play with the metal for the undead. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Flick that. <laughs> Break your own damn finger. Okay, so we move past. Yes, so the we move gate. in. What are we seeing in here? Uh, so. So now that we can actually see... Uh, there's uh, buildings uh, oh. around you. Excuse me. Um, it see. actually looks like there's a lot of destroyed stuff. Yeah. Let so like A4 what... looks pretty so that, destroyed. So A4 looks like it's an old like horse corral? Oh, Some uh, kind cow of corral. Cow corral, yeah. Uh, yeah. Looking at A4, a low wooden fence fallen in many places with all its gates thrown open. Once enclosed a wide dirt yard. Dirt is trampled with an unsettling amount of blood and gore. Yeah. Uh, various parts of roughly five corpses lie strewn about. Most of them trampled into mangled flesh and bones. Um, are they... Would be a medicine check to know if they were silly? living, if they were undead or quick? Oh, well. Let me just tell you what your investigation is. I keep rolling really high on. <laughs> uh, let's Thank you. see. Um, 
Looks like uh, these were more zombie workers. Okay. Um, though, um, you think there might have been some of the charge hands who were in uh, the undead in charge of keeping the other zombies in line, but it's kind of hard to tell. They're all mushed together. But some of the hands look more authoritative than the others. Like they're used Less to pointing. Calloused. There's a whip next to one. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Where there's a whip, there's a way. <laughs> um, um, and then... And as he I, said, yeah, it looks like there's a blood trail. Not that... Yeah, Any can, of us are doing survival. Can we tell if survival. it's going into A3 or if it's coming out of A3? That would be a survival. Uh, I, I can do that. Um, a lot of the blood is just in that yard. Oh, yeah. We can see, see that. Yeah. But there's also blood coming this way. Yeah, that might be in the... Uh, A3. Because yeah, it goes into A3. That's fine. Well, uh, we can investigate A3 as is right now. So... so uh, also in A4 is uh, a large zombie cow <laughs> with, uh, well, they say cow, but uh, it's it's either... Girl uh, cows can have horns, Brian. Uh, these are really big horns. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Texas girl, horn horns. Girl have horns. It's the udders that tell you if it's a girl or a boy. Yeah. But, uh, if there's one udder, so... it's a boy. If there's multiple udders, it's a girl. <laughs> Strangely, Paizo didn't include that in the art. I assume oh, that's no. an oversight. Uh, but Ooh. there is a, a giant cow with a... Uh, so, you guys can pull back out there. Because it's just stomping in the yard. Uh, it was just that the description weighed a bit before. It was like, oh, oh. yeah, it's there. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Is it summoning Saluhilad? Uh, so, it's just like uh, chomping. It looks agitated. Aren't we supposed to kill the cow? No, no, we're no, supposed we were, to... to. We could maybe use it to corral the mascota. Yeah. So, mascota. um. Oh. You're, the thing you were told about Muscuta was to be careful, because Muscuta was powerful. Yeah. Uh, Boss cow. And hard Mess to deal up. with. Um, but uh, unless you have a way to calm or quell it, you think you're gonna have to fight at some point was that a, is that a check is that kind of do it like a nature check for that um i don't think anyone took the ability to do it uh there's uh there's a background for the ap that allows you to do diplomacy checks to mindless creatures like zombies oh. yeah and the uh there's a corpse tender archetype that Bloodlords added that also gives that ability. Oh. So you guys yeah, don't I... know how to deal with mindless and dead. Okay. Beyond fighting them. Yeah. Beyond put it out of our misery. But you don't have to do it now. Right now it's just stomping corpses down. I and mean, you can see it from a ways away. Probably from the front gate. I mean, I'm... If we have no way of handling it, let's just shoot it and be done with it. That's fine. I was just... Um, it would be... If you guys... Because we got a couple... We got two stealthy people. Like, you could have tried to just leave it alone for now and see what else is there. I just didn't know what you guys wanted to do. Oh, no. I'm fully on board with... Let's put it in the ground. We have yeah, no other option. I'm not mad at that idea. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, my sword's out. It's like, mm. yeah. do we have We've a way to deal with this? Killed no. some things. So. Okay, let's just get it out oh, of our Oh, you have misery. a way to deal with it. <clears throat> diplomacy with the sword. <laughs> Aggressive diplomacy. All right. So we'll roll initiative again. Doing garbage for initiative. Yeah, it's okay. 
Do you have, so you get? Did you get low light vision or dark vision? I with? get both. Okay. I get low light as a half orc and I get dark as a ghoul. See, I hit it the other way around. I get dark as a dwarf, but I get low light as a ghoul. Yeah. Yeah, I just have low light. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Well, uh, it's a weird thing because ghouls give you low light, but then the undead rules say you either get low light or if you already have it, you get dark vision. So it's really kind of up to Brian. I don't care either way. It doesn't hurt my feelings any. Well, I took a look at it and said it said, if you have it, do this. Yeah. So Well, that's what I, I read as well. But I, yeah. it, Ghoul itself, the dedication doesn't say it oh, increases. Okay. The undead benefits do. Oh, okay. And yeah. ghouls get those as part of being a ghoul. So okay. it's kind of... The gobble ghoul. Do they get both? Because like a ghoul gives you a low light, and then the undead said, well, if you already have it... Eh, nah. But I just assumed it was dark vision, so I... Anyway, sorry. Yeah, that's well, I also rolled trash. Amazing. I would say both. But, uh... uh Bogdan got a 16. Okay. You think 16's trash? I rolled a 9. Oh, fuck. Why? I rolled a... Uh, 8 total. Where? Oh, he took his dice. I don't have his uh, dice. I rolled an 11 for him. Right. Oh, oh, on the uh, die? He's yeah. using his stuff. Uh, like yeah, so down. that'll be an 18... Okay, and then Demetrius. Eight. Okay, and Horace. Twenty-four. Okay, cool. What's your bonus? Five. Nice. He rolled well. I rolled well. Well, yeah. you've been rolling well, so there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, when I was doing the campaign for my army buddies, they banned me from using this dice set. <laughs> It didn't help them in any way, shape, or form. I've only ever used the metal dice that I played Arctos with for Arctos. I've never. I was like, I retired the yeah. shit out of those. Rolling nineteen, nineteen, and a twenty. I was like, whew, well. <laughs> okay. uh, what's your lore modifier? Um, so if they're creatures, it's seven. If they're uh, if they're creatures, haunts, or ghosts, they're seven. If it's anything else, it's a five. Okay, because it's a diverse lore. It's minus two. Okay, so... Apparently you can't have Bane, Undead, Ammunition. It's not one of the options. Aberration, Fae, uh, Beast, Animal, and a Fungus and Plant. Huh. Oh, Dragon, and I think Dragon's in there as well. Yeah, I don't think they'd ever get rid of Dragon. Yeah, I just think it's weird that you can't have a Bane, Undead. Can't have a Holy Water Bullet? Okay. <laughs> and that just reminds me of Hellboy. Yeah. Uh, Holy no, water, garlic, silver, wonderful. the works. <laughs> Thank good lord. Right. Oh. It's not a bull, but he looks smart. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, uh, let's have we, face this, this way. This yeah. Area. Uh, over here. I Maybe had a flashback to Shadowrun because I see the end of it and I was like, it's got a chain gun? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was like, oh no, it's a bundle of sticks. It just Because it had the front cover and I didn't yeah. know what it was. It just loved like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, wait till I pull some of the things I've got in Tharkold out. I'm excited. <laughs> No, I call this such an unpleasant realm. I was like, man, I wish I could show you the picture, but it's right by the stat block. Yep. So, I'll show it to you guys. After. Actually, I think there's a picture in the player's Yeah, guide. in the front. It's the cow the on cow? the front. Yeah. It's like fourth page or something. Oh, that, that's it. Yeah. 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 We're grabbing the bull by the horns. That's... Yeah, no, that's one that's I probably have. just a cow. Makut is probably bigger. Yeah, yeah probably. Moo, uh, moo, 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 moo. So one horn moo, is broken moo, off. Moo, oh, moo, moo. And then it's because uh, Bane is poison. Yeah, there would not work against undead. All right. So, um, Horus, you're up first. But I can get poisoned as a ghoul. We're be we're we're PC undead. Yeah, it's still we, stupid. We get stupid rules. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, big cow. Got it. Yep. Uh, first action, I will rage. Yep. 
Rajay. Rajay. Second and third action, I will use sudden charge. Okay. So we're basically like yeah. Here. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just put me about five back. <laughs> uh, goblin with that bow, put me five squares back. Oh, you're, okay. Yeah. So you're, you're I'm doing Overwatch. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> Do you have reach with your sword? No. Okay. <clears throat> Roll well. That's not well. <laughs> I'll I'll hero point that. Kay. That's a total of twelve. Yeah, that was miss. <laughs> oh, better. Significantly. That's okay. a 19 on the die. Nice. So that's, that's a crit. 28 to hit. 28 will crit. Oh, this is going to hurt. All right. That's only a 5 on the die. So 30 total. Good Third. night. I'm not going to get a shot off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He just suddenly looks really mad and you're like how your bones <laughs> he gets drawn on eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably his brow ridge gets pronounced <laughs> turns into it's like fully cooly with his, the dude's eyebrows it's yeah. probably more like going for instead of the empty blank skeletal pits there's now just red glare and you're like that can't be good. Well, you can <laughs> definitely have like red or <clears throat> floaty like energy because there's no. That's reason. what I mean. When yeah. he rages, there's now that red yeah. energy in his like eyes. Like the bones take a reddish tint. Yeah. All right. Um, does a twenty-two hit you? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you take twelve piercing. Cool. Yep. Okay. Um. For temporary, so minus eight. You get temporary hit points? When yeah. I rage. Oh, that's cool. That's right. And then what's yeah, because you don't get resistance to like level nine. Uh, 18. All right. So you're knocked down. Okay. And then more. I don't have healing bombs yet. I haven't made any today. <laughs> I made ammo. Well, that's probably not going to be too bad. Um, so, uh, 15 to hit your off guard. With all the penalties I've got, yeah. Yeah, that's only six more damage. Off guard is what? Flat -footed. It's minus two. It's flat footed. So it's okay. minus two, but he's raging, so he's at minus one. Uh, oh. minus two already. Okay. So you get the minus. And I'm clumsy. So there's well, you're, you're, cause you're, yeah, you're minus one for rage, you're minus one for the sword. And then, because uh, Giant has, do you, they do the most damage because they have the lowest AC of Barbarians. And then uh, Prone and off kills are the same, uh, off-guarded, so you're at minus 4 AC right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So it 18, hits. 14 will hit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 14 hits. But you saw his crit. Yeah. <laughs> and no, that's no. The, there, there's yeah. A, he's a glass cannon, and that's yeah. fine. And a weirdly glass cannon. All right. Trek is next. The thing is, I can mitigate a lot of the glass cannon part because I can wear plate mail. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Well, he also has a thing called fodder. Trek is up. <laughs> Who's uh, a fodder Trek? just gives yeah. me speed. Small guy. Small guy. Did it notice his avoid notice? Uh, uh what? Uh, roll his stealth. Okay. Twenty six? No, twenty five. Let's see. Yeah, he didn't get noticed. Right. So he moves. And then we'll shoot his short bow. Okay. And. Ooh, 20. 
22. Um, off kilter, whatever it's called. Off, off, off guard. That's yeah. yeah. You know what I meant. <laughs> it hits. Yep. Um, does he get to add his decks to no. not to bows? To bows. Okay. Finesse only, right? Finesse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Finesse is melee only. Yep. So he did four. And then, and then precision, games. yep. Finesse add, lets you add your so decks. Ten total. So the, to melee. Yeah. To melee only? To melee well, only. Well, finesse weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm saying my claws and my jaws. No, 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 no. no. Thief, thief, thief rogues, rogues oh, uniquely okay. get to do this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All, all other dexterity classes to need to eventually strength. put strength points in. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So ten total. Uh, it is okay. piercing. Oh, yeah, matters. mine was slashing, if that does matter. Nah, not for this one, but okay. let's see. Okay, so it sticks in. Um, also, as you've gotten close to it, uh, you notice that it's about half-worn away. There's, like, strong bones on it. And you can see, like, tether points where they've, like, um, hammered in metal... Eye rings into it so they can uh, hook it up to stuff. Oh, mm. is that your way of telling us that there's a non combat option to um, combat? It was my way of saying that it seems unusually tough, okay. even for Easy. what should be a zombie. Well, I heard the rings and I was like, oh, so if we can find the things, we can hook it and keep it there forever. Uh, I think it's just his way of saying they have. Really big farm implements yeah, they hooked to this thing. Okay. Who's up next? Uh, <clears throat> next is Bogdan. Bogdan. Bogdan is going to just... He already had it, and he's just going to like flip open his chamber. Yep, got one in there. Did you roll your avoid notice? Uh, so, uh, you... Uh, technically, that I'm won't matter. to roll. Because it doesn't require me to not be stealth. I just need to use stealth for my initiative. Yeah, uh, but... Oh, all right. Um, I don't know how gunslingers work. No, no, no. I, no. I don't have to hide or anything. I just have to use it for my initiative. Oh, it's okay. literally... Oh, yeah. It'll give you a little bit. Good freaking anyway. night. A 13 on whatever the heck that is. Um, Does, is it... Is it, is it what flat? is your stealth? Uh, my stealth is a 7. 7. Plus no, 7? W- oh, yeah. What'd you so, roll? I didn't roll that. Sorry, let me... Yeah. So I forgot... I'm supposed to roll uh, stealth checks. Okay. Yeah. So you would roll it for a stro- for avoid notice. You roll your stealth for initiative. Okay, that's. But that's... I see. I roll it secretly to see if you are hidden. Okay. And, and I forgot. Yeah. That. That's totally fine. So didn't notice you. So because of that, it's uh, off-footed. Okay. We'll off just guard. combine them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's go. off-footed, and so that does hit. But not a crit. Right. Okay. Okay. I deal nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Four of that is precision if it matters. Mm, not for this one. Okay. okay. So. You got your shot off. I did get my shot off. But I really can't take another round of this thing's attacks. All right, and then Demetrius. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's just one. That's just one oh, action. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna head over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how many feet is that? Twenty-five. I, I assume twenty-five is most people's speed. Mine is twenty. Twenty. Uh, am I is am I close enough to be next to the? I'll say yeah. And like he's gonna like dive. Take cover, take the hide action, and reload. Okay. Oh. Oh, you have cover reload. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So as, as long as you is it as part of cover or part of hide? It's as as part of the part movement? of the take cover action okay. or part of the hide action. It's either one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now me, right? Th- that's 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 all three. Okay. Technically four action. That's all three actions. So. Yeah. Alright, then Demetrius. Apparently I can take up to five actions. Uh, what? 
the gunslinger does things that like oh, give me like multiple actions. actions. Yeah, 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 I was like, that's weird. I mean, I effectively took four. Yeah. yeah. I can't really do much for you. If I die, I die. I know. I'll feel bad. <laughs> well, we helped him. I He's can't... happy now. <laughs> he would be happy then. Okay, I can move up to it and raise my shield. Yeah. I unfortunately have no other actions to recall knowledge or exploit vulnerability or any of the cool shit I get to do. I had to move twice to get there. That's rough. Yeah. yeah. But I'm like, no! <laughs> Shield. <laughs> <laughs> but you said Necrol, so he understood. Yes. Oh! Because I think, in my head, Necrol's backwards. Although, I guess that would be, what, Infernal or whatever. Because, no. you know, when you play Boston Ooh. backwards. Control the Satan! So, uh, I'm going to scoot, uh, uh, moves at you and uh, oh. like no of it is in firing terms and we can't say what it's saying to you in Necrol on stream That's so, so cute. we'll just leave it to our audience oh okay you can, it, you can do either or so if you wanted to hide you can attempt to hide yeah which would give you off kilter oh again. would okay yeah. so then I do I roll because cover just gives you a plus so 2 AC I would roll if okay, you okay. to hide I am going to hide yeah I'm just like my back's yeah. up to it. And just, just it's just one run, really big bullet. Yep. All right, and then horse. Okay. Well, here's hoping. Mm -hmm. Stand up. <laughs> yep. Does it? Is that does standing up provoke in this one? Yes. If if they had so they only eleven percent of creatures have an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Okay. But that's why I was standing saying, up. Here's well, hoping. <laughs> uh, manipulate movement. And. It's Two yeah. other things, but yeah. Yeah, well, like, there's also slight variations uh, between them, but the standard one. Mm -hmm. But you stand up just fine. Okay. All right, I'll take a swing. Okay. Uh, 19. 19 will hit. Oh, first non crit of the night. So, so yours didn't 16 crit. Oh, damage. For him. Yeah. Uh, well, technically. My first attack was a complete whiff. That's true. <laughs> Technically speaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, still up, huh? Yep. Uh, uh, 21. Uh, 21 will hit. Ooh, that's a 26. Good. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, 22 damage. Good night. That's max. Yeah. yeah. He rolled a 12 right. on his die. Uh, Mascuta goes down. You take some of those iron bones. No kidding. Just get two two bones with the iron rings and put them on your nipples. <laughs> and then you can <laughs> just hanging things off of it. Okay. If you do that, I'll draw that character for you. The dwarf is over there just pull, doing pull-ups. <laughs> I'm going to make sure. Look, I'm Lord of the Rings. <laughs> But, yeah. So I'm just over here making jokes. <laughs> oh, no. The Lord of the Rings. Oh, no. I wanted to make sure because it sounded wrong to me. But, yeah, Casey can survive at zero. I'm like, oh, zero cool. You get to draw your gun mm -hmm. for free when you roll initiative for stealth. Yeah. Yeah, even I was thinking, that sounds odd. Yeah, it's for the... Basic undead benefits. One of the few advantages that PC yeah. undead get. I missed that. What happened? Casey uh, doesn't die at zero. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's for our basic undead benefits. And it says, if you would, you replace with this. And then... But... Uh, uh, I have a question, Brian. I'm sorry yeah. I'm going to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. I'm at... Here. Basically at the corner, yeah. yeah. At the corner the here. Dot. And We're got, more here and I've now. got my back to it. Mm -hmm. I have a clear line of sight into that building. Yeah. Can I make a perception check to see what I see so far? Well, let me look. See if there's anything you need to perceive. Just seeing these zombies coming out? 
It looks like uh, it's a storeroom, but it looks like nothing's in there. Okay. Um, oh, you aren't. Okay, I read that wrong. I apologize. Um, your best guess, knowing how farming works in the area, this is where the extra zombies okay. are stored. Okay. So we don't. They just wheel them in there. They yeah. just. We, we don't around. die. We if we will go when we die, we destroy it, so we yeah. can't be brought back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. I was. Confused. But we, when we drop to zero, we're not destroyed. We're dying, but yeah. we're not destroyed. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's true for all of us. Yes. Except for Fred, who's that's normal because yeah. he's real. He's a real boy. He's a rat boy. So, but uh, your best guess is that someone let the zombies that were stored out in there, and the zombies just went. Towards Muscuta because they're just and like she... powerful undead. And Muscuta was like, I ain't having that. Worshippers are for fools and just killed them all. Okay. Okay. Because uh, otherwise it looks empty. Um, there is a uh, scythe uh, when you take it. Uh, it's easy to pull out now that Muscuta is dead. Mm. Um, and it is a plus one scythe. Um, Already. Out the gate. Yeah. Quite literally. Best case is getting that. Now only the rune off of it. I can easily transfer that. Uh, right. It's just a crafting check, right? Yep. If I remember correctly. It's a crafting uh, check, but yeah. it takes a day. Takes okay. a day. And yeah. uh, you need, what is it, you need three the... and a half gold. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you still have we to need pay the gold. even when oh. it's ten percent of the cost. Half, half, <coughs> yeah, or something. Ten percent of the cost. Yeah. Three point yeah. five gold. Because okay. thirty five to buy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, his is a cleric of Ergothoa, so, and I forgot to mention that. Also strapped to his's back is a giant scythe, so his can use the scythe as no one else can, and uh, his is going to be a melee cleric. Uh, okay. War priest. So, uh, but uh, his doesn't have to have it. Uh, oh. But if no one else will use it, I mean, probably again, on the, Sunday. Yeah, it's I, like we can take the rune and still give them the site because it doesn't destroy the weapon, does it? No. no. Right. Yeah. Um, but just but he's saying his could use the plus one side yeah. if no one. Else oh, wanted. right, right, right. So. Right. Uh, when we, At least until we continue transfer. on Sunday, yeah. Um, yeah. and I play his, uh, I can use the scythe then. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think we have the funds right now yet to transfer runes. We don't. So, so, I so, spent yeah. nothing except... For, oh, no, that's not true. Uh, never mind. I bought breastplate and shield, which I think left me with five. I actually have... Left. Yeah, I have four silver. <laughs> yeah. I have two silver. So I mean, yeah, I, I will not use yeah. it until we have the time and resources to move the room. Yeah, and I don't quite have the relationship with my sugar daddy yet. So, so, <laughs> so, but yeah, like things go dark for Bogdan for a second. His lurches over, grabs the scythe. Yes, yes, Ergotho it provides. Wonderful. Puts his scythe back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he takes that scythe, yeah. backs it, puts the, his scythe in, like, yeah. Yeah. Right, Fair right. trade. <laughs> and then you wake bones. up next to uh, the corpse of Muscuta. Oh. I didn't eat it, did I? No. Oh, no. no. no it's, okay, okay. That's cool. It does look kind of tasty, but it's the undead version of jerky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sample some of the flesh for sure. All we need is Arugal. Mm. Um, like, you flesh. take a little bit of it, and you're like, mm. it's not, kinda not very really sustained. It's kind of stretchy. Not as good as a living thing, yeah. of course. Okay. But you're like, it's not. 
uh, was probably the greatest NPC in Abomination Vaults. That's right. He was very funny. Arugino. He was the ghoul who only ate, ate undead. Other ghouls. Yeah. He eats of their undead. Living is not oh, properly that, seasoned. I, yeah, no, I've met that guy. Yeah. We yeah. gave him all the ghouls that we killed in the library. We yeah. did the same. Hey, there's everything. There's we did the same, and then our witch turned him into her undead minion. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brian became a ghost. <laughs> well, Brian became a ghost. A couple levels that. down, but yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Um. So. Uh, and then too many people know, lost interest, so I'm not continuing. Didn't lose interest. I just. I can't. I have every. Uh, I get it. It, yeah. it just became. Just we weren't getting enough play. people. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of schedule conflicts here. Yeah. There's it, it, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't just you or anything. Because I also dropped out of. Well, the just fact that we were able to play every single week. Someone's like, "You play every single week." Well, that's what happened. We started a home game, and then Susie deployed, and I had Julia, and then I had other stuff, and then I had a game Monday. I had streaming Monday. I had Tuesday. Uh, then SCA at the time Thursday. I had a meeting Wednesday, and then we had a. Uh, I moved the SEA to Wednesday, and then I had a game Thursday. Then we had Friday. And then I had my home game Saturday, and then we had a game Sunday. Yeah. And I was like, it, that was good so for about fun. half the time that Susie was gone because it kept my mind off of what she was going through. But then yeah. I just got so depleted so fast, yeah, and I was neglecting really. Julia at home. And I was like, I just I can't. And I narrowed it down to one game, and I played about four episodes of that, and then it just I just couldn't do it anymore. I think it was streaming Tuesdays. Uh, yeah. uh, but this was before I switched to Mondays. Yeah. Specifically, so I could play the Tuesday game because we were, I think at the time you were having depletion when we stopped playing Thursday for a, a little bit, like a month or something. I don't remember. There was a lot of. Yeah, like, that's why I have we two. We stopped in our, uh, last October. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We took that off. But yeah, scheduling I mean, like, and I real a, life. A butt ton of fun playing Bathory. That was one of my favorite characters I ever played. Mm -hmm. I just, I couldn't do it. Happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally was, because of the choice they made, end of book two, I was trying to make a really fun thing for Bathory. Yeah. And then you were showing up, and to, I'm like, yeah. okay. Yeah, and then everybody had trouble showing up. Uh, yeah, so after A3, let's go to A2. Sure. Uh, as a note on A3, um, for afterwards, because uh, one of the things... Uh, is you're supposed to fix it up. The food. Yeah, we gotta pick is, stuff up and check if there's uh, any the produce door that still is exists. Off its hinges, so um, you don't have to do it now. But a crafting check can fix oh, it. Oh, sure, yeah. definitely do that. Yeah. I mean, you're way better so at you're crafting. Taking the time, then. <laughs> taking a little bit. Don't you need a little bit to heal, or I don't know how this works. Uh, I still think I need someone to actually heal me. Yeah, so we we don't have. Do I do medicine? He's our healer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that was the other thing I was thinking about doing was taking medic instead of. I mean, there's plenty of bones. So you're heading off to the door, and suddenly things go dark for you. And uh, his slithers over. <laughs> looks Horace over and says, Go back. And uh, takes out a kit and succeeds, which I'm always afraid to roll for medicine. I, yeah, I understand. I'm like, I see <clears throat> people going, Oh, it's so easy at level one. I'm like, Are you insane? We're. Our dice don't if you're only know dice. how to kill. They don't know how to heal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's so, that's our dice. I can uh, make it trivial at level two, but you do seven, and then uh, don't really see a reason not to. How much further are you down? Seven. Okay. So Hiss will use uh, one of his harms per day to. Uh, heal you for eight. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And that takes ten minutes? Um, Cause the, the medicine. Ten knows. minutes for medicine, yeah. Yep. So know. you can make one craft check. Well, no, I can't. No, we can't, because that's him. Yeah. 
We're sharing oh, you, a body. Oh, shit. That's right. We share and the so, same body. Here, let, let me do. I have a plus three. It's not nearly as good. But I have I a can, plus four. Yeah. Oh, I can attempt it then. <laughs> yeah. It's, and then why, wait, what when the? Hiss is well, done fuck. with Horus. Screw that. He's doing it. <laughs> Rat's got a plus six. <laughs> okay. So, the, yeah. I'll, I'll. Oh, no. It's a 20 for eight, huh? Uh, 15. It's a 15 now for the remaster. Oh. It's no, always been 15. So I need to roll no. 12. Yeah. So I need it to... was 20. But you could set the DC different as a GM, except yeah. for in society play where they're like, nope, it's always, it's always 20. 20. Yeah. Could have sworn it was 15. The expert was 20. No, the expert was 30. Okay. It, the original, dude, oh, I was looking into the eight action and I was like, they, it, it, some of these numbers are dumb. Because mm -hmm. it starts at base 20 just to give them a plus two. Well, uh, age didn't go up for having better proficiency the bonus you gave <clears throat> yeah well, that's better. what i meant yeah um, oh yeah, yeah but sorry you need a 30 to crit it yeah which is the best bonus uh 11 he's gonna re-roll that i rolled a five on the die rat boy is gonna hero point and hope he rolls better than a five that's better it's a six <laughs> all right yeah uh that's a 12 crafty. All right. So, uh, Trek goes over, fixes the door, because this is what he does. Keeps things in and out and away from him. <laughs> and so he rehinges the door. And then uh, you wake up. And Bogdan is far away. And the door sees is Trek is, has fixed the door. Yeah. More of this. I'm not getting you. I haven't gotten used to it yet. I don't know if I'm gonna get used to it. <laughs> we're not used to it. But yeah, we're kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be doing this in play, but then I was like, oh yeah, it I works. need healing. It's funny. Yeah, this it works. <laughs> so for those of great. <laughs> for those who are watching, Brian and Jeremiah are playing dual characters, but jeremiah will not be able to make the sunday games mm -hmm. so brian will have a dm character that is the uh not mirror but like the weird siamese yeah, siamese twin like you said earlier yeah. yeah so it's effectively a dual class but also dual personality yeah all that good stuff dual personality dual creature dual races dual yeah. old school gestalt du dual lipa that. oh wait uh <laughs> no <laughs> Dua Lipa can come on the show anytime. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Our wives won't like it, but anytime. <laughs> and I picked the zombie partially because I was like, less interactive that way, so it's more focused on you guys. Yeah. It's like, hiss is like, hiss. It's mostly well, and I, I purposely didn't go like medic or medicine or anything like that because you were going to play a semi-healer, mm -hmm. yeah. which I'm cool. That's awesome. Alright, and then that's good. But I didn't know about that. Because I have Bon Mott, and I want to do Demoralize, and I didn't realize that I needed a feat to be able to affect Undead. Yeah. And I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so I'll look into that, because right now I just have an Emissary. Uh, but I've, I haven't role-played anything that means, that means anything coming from Ibladil, so if I take that background instead, then hmm. I'll be alright. I just, what do you mean, uh, affect undead with bomb mount? Because uh, it d it doesn't affect. Because it's a uh, it's a uh, diplomacy, right? Or... Oh, right. Because the main thing is language barrier for bomb mount, not. Uh... Oh yeah. Well, that certain things don't affect mindless undead, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, there's a surprising like. A lot of undead are just like, oh, yeah, you can scare me. <laughs> or you can taunt yeah. me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I always forget, but yeah. Okay, um, so we fix it on A3, we're heading over to A2. Okay, yeah. over here. So do we have to do any f fixing up of the A4 stuff? Um, I didn't see anything there. Okay. Uh... Maybe I think once we destroyed the cow, that. there's not a lot of need for it. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> um, so, in here, 
Uh, the north and south walls of this low brick building are demolished. North of the building, a small corpse in a dark gray cloak and leather armor is impaled in the outer stone wall with a three-foot-long cattle horn. Its cloak is in tatters, and much of the flesh of its legs has been gnawed away. Uh, dried blood and gore pools beneath its skeletal dangling feet. Uh, inside the building, a dozen leather saddle-like contraptions, each with numerous straps and buckles, lies crushed and tangled in a heap amid rubble from the collapsed walls. Oh. Well, it looks like we found the tamer of a Bogladesh Mashkash Badash. Yeah, whoever they were, they were the one that managed there's, the cow. There's enough we take hair the left over that... It's uh, their you horn. figure out that this is Braddock. I know he. The Braddock has a prod. So can we take the prod? Oh, I. I did not hear it about the prod. I heard cattle horn. Yeah, he has a cattle horn impaled in him. Oh, I thought he had. Sorry, I thought I heard prod. No. Yeah, that's fine. Um, may have heard impaled. Probably. I, I heard a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, I heard, my brain heard prod and I was like cool that I want, is that a weapon I can have that Cow sounds prod. awesome <laughs> that's what I thought yeah let's see okay um, Braddock was that was yeah, the guy we were supposed to go was, find uh, it was his cousin her the, cousin her cousin the Bre Hathling, yep Berlin 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 the Blood Lord Berlin um, Horace uh, you find uh, clutched in one of uh, his hands. A uh, torn red cloth, caked uh, okay. with dirt, blood, and gore. Mm -hmm. um, cleaning it off a bit, you find a small symbol embroidered with off-white thread. A hand with a missing finger, and those are remain outstretched. So it looks like this. Hmm. Okay. Anyone recognize this symbol? Warfare? As I pull it up and show to my comrades. I'm at, a, I'm at plus five, if you mind. And none of you are familiar with this symbol. You want some of the more knowledgeable among you. Do I get to use a hero point on Can you use a hero secret point on secret rolls? rolls? Yes, you can. So, oh, okay. Hero point, please. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> And you have to choose to take the second. You have to take the second, okay. no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, it's not an organization that you're familiar with. Okay. Um, so, what? but you are certain that, that what that means isn't that you... Don't know it because you're for your lack of knowledge of groups in Gib. This must be a new group. Oh, okay. That has uh, recently formed. It means more investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And then, if you guys want to uh, uh, clean this place up, uh, much of the tack around here is destroyed. Um, because it looked like they were making, like, saddles and stuff for very shaped undead. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, so, you can do a crafting check or farming lore. A 22 crafting. 19 crafting for me, and 10 crafting for Trek. Right. Trek is like, no, this is... He's this like, is I'll stick to the hinges undead. and... Yeah. <laughs> this is... Yeah, 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 you guys have that this. Is that a human saddle? Let's have a look. The question is, is it a saddle for humans or a saddle made out of humans? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's both. both. Uh, so, uh, I made this saddle we... out of your sister and I'm going to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen that? Uh, who are you? Why are you doing that? My name is Jacob Peralta. I'm the most horrible man there is. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. So Susie's going to be gone all next week for army training. Mm -hmm. I'm going to binge watch Brooklyn... 911 on Netflix because it all got added. Well, the first, what, five seasons got added? Oh, nice. Because mm -hmm. I, you know, the Captain Holt passed away in real yeah. life. And I was like, mm. um, But you guys managed to 
repair and okay. get things Excellent. in working order again. And we have, as of yet, encountered any produce that's still viable. Uh, not yet. Okay. A5? Uh, five. Okay. Yeah. So I think if we if we divide the farm in half, we'll do this side and then yeah. work our way over. Yeah. I mean, I know meta, we're looking at like the A's, and I yeah. think that's a, a reasonable <clears throat> thing yeah. to do. Uh, this is a tool storage room. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks in fine condition. Uh, there's a wheelbarrow, bags of soil. Uh, buckets of nails, ropes, hammers, saws, and the like. Um, everything seems fine in here. Uh, uh, one use of it would have been if you know if you had uh, proper tools to repair stuff. If you didn't have repair kits, you okay. could get the tools from here. Okay. Um, okay. And of course, the wheelbarrow to reenact the. Uh, uh, Siege pirates. of the castle in Princess Bride. Yeah, but there's no Holocaust cloak, so there will be no survivors. <laughs> you That's are you. Here, <laughs> but soon you will be not, not dead. <laughs> the dread pirate Roberts takes no, no survivors. survivors. <laughs> there will be no survivors. <laughs> I have come for your soul. <laughs> It's a shame we don't have a Holocaust cloak. What about this? Ooh, Liz, do? <laughs> God damn it, Andre. Why was that not listed in our, our list of possessions? <laughs> if only we had a wheelbarrow, that would be something. There's what did we do with that wheelbarrow the Albine had? Why wasn't that listed in our assets? <laughs> what did I would in, Well, this do? Where did you get that? So, Marco Max. A -A it fits so well, he said I could have it. Mulch? Uh, so if, if there's nothing in A5, we're going to A6. Uh, six. Oh. Well, I was just going to do eight because it's right next uh, to it. Okay. But we can do whatever. Uh, walking we'll by a six. Uh, this is Muscuta's stall. Oh, oh okay. Um, What's left of it? Yeah. It's covered in filth. So, yeah. Um, your best guess at this point is that uh, someone attacked Braddock. And Muscuda took that personally. Oh, okay. But in blind rage, just decided to kill everyone Muscuda could. Sure, I mean, I get it. That Including looks... Brad. That's why we put yeah. those clamps on the giant barbarian. Nipple ones. Nipple clamps. Yeah. <laughs> on the front, the back, hip, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I don't remember agreeing to this. <laughs> you were asleep. <laughs> I'm a skeleton. I don't sleep. Damn it. Um... I was like, this is also one of their benefits. But they uh, undead only need, like, I forgot what they call it. It's not like meditation, but it's oh. a four-hour rest period. Mm -hmm. So, like, you don't sleep, but... You lie still long enough. Like, like, down, like downtime <laughs> action got spent. Two sneaky <clears throat> people <relaxing>. with crafting. <laughs> <laughs> These are to hold the talismans when we get them later. <laughs> Talisman or tassels? <laughs> Both. Okay. Uh, anything of use in here? Let's see. Um, but Do we find an undead no. baby cow? Oh, no. Uh, no. I just feel bad for killing her. Uh, no, not in this case. It's okay. I was Head toying with the idea because I kind of liked it. But I was like, eh, no. A7. That's a little grotesque. <laughs> Macabre. Welcome yeah. to Blood Lords. Yeah, right. Like, it's supposed to be it's gruesome. crazy, gruesome, and evil. Like, so, uh, like, yeah. Um, so they, I, no, I was watching a podcast and, uh, they had the cow chewing on Braddock. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like, huh? <laughs> Cause they were like, no, just so you know, it's going to be PG 17. I was like, all right. Or and whatever it is. NC-17. NC-17, yeah. yeah. Well, our signal is screaming. So they're was. like, it's going to be, yeah, they, they're like, we're going to do everything. Yeah, but, but we didn't F broadcast Correct. Screams. Yeah. 
Well, that's because all of our viewers have been corrupted by the signal. Yeah, it's very uh, valid. Yeah. Valid. Valid. Yeah. That's uh, literally. I was like, I didn't know how dark it was going to be. That's the only reason I didn't like offer to ask if Jules could play, because mm. I love her and she's really, really it's nightmare stuff, good. Man. But yeah, when I mean, I don't think Brian would freak her out because yeah, Brian. Doesn't we've do done some weird way. stuff in Pathfinder together, but right. uh, it's just in general, like the tone is supposed to be because she. I don't think she could play evil. Yeah, I don't. Or, or I hard. mean, and I don't think she would react to evil well because mm. blood lords are, they're not altruistic. They're, no, they're not. out for their own yeah. good, and they will shiv a friend to increase their own political. Some, uh, not all, I mean, but... I don't do evil well. This character really yeah. isn't evil. Well, yeah, but... but you're apathetic, which is great. Yeah, like you, you, but you're cool with evil happening around you, which this guy I'm will become. Evil. I'm straight lawful evil. Like I'm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Uh-huh. Oh yeah! Um, have you seen the anime Tanya? Uh, Tanya no. the Evil. Yeah, that it. it her I personality. It oh, okay. It's like that. I'm doing. It's all girly shit, but it's it's. it's I'm evil. in my what, what's it called? Something era. I'm in my my. Goth girl. Ha- Man hating era. I, yeah, I don't know. The Man eating era. Gone girl. Oh, oh, that's rough. Did you say Gone Girl? Goth girl. Oh no no oh. <laughs> Gone Girl's like, a little more different. Right. You were more right with Gone Girl than Goth Girl. Gone, Gone Girl's, Girl's mad. Like Rosamund Pike, where she like yeah. kills her lover and tries to commit her, get her husband committed for murder. And yeah, no, you're also you're more correct in in the misapprehension. The mis- thing is, I've never seen Gone Girl. Oh so. my god, so it's Ben Affleck. It's A7. so good. Anyway, sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, as uh, yeah, I'm investigating, and keeping our. Uh, you're still. S- I'm still in the back a little bit. Oh, you were our searcher. Yeah. yeah, keeping your eyes on peeled in case something. Trying somebody... to search. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and uh, Horace is first to notice, but the rest of you, uh, as you uh, also hear it as you get closer to A seven, uh, it's a big old brick barn, okay. um, and you hear pounding on the door. Does... Um, okay, I have two questions, but you can finish. Mm. And um, yeah, watermelons. Uh, so you hear pounding on the door. Uh, you get the sense that, but you don't sense any intelligence behind the pounding. Right. No. Okay. So the the uh, one question was: Does it look like it's barricaded or locked from the outside? Hmm. And then my other question was going to be about the legality of Killing. the farm. So if we kill the zombies as workers, the, is there a – because I have a plus five with diverse lore. Mm-hmm. Is there a legal argument that we then have to compensate Ergath or whatever his name is? Ergath? No. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, mindless I'm... undead are still a problem even to the people, Correct. people of Gath. When they're not controlled, so, and they're, they're, everyone has them, so they're easy to get new ones and put, or put more back together. <laughs> I just have the scene in my head, is like, okay, now we gotta make sure mom was dead, kick open the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it looks like... Are you sure she's dead? <laughs> well, she is now. <laughs> uh, it looks like... Um, I'm trying to think. Um, it's not locked. There's like a, I want to say like a, like it, a, a crossbar. piece of wood. Yeah. yeah. And from the pounding, it looks like, uh, if left to their devices, they're going to break down the door Eventually. in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. And the door you are responsible for, so you'll have to fix it if they break it. <laughs> <laughs> Open it. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of like, Trek, go away. Let's see if they're completely stupid zombies. Uh, in Necrol. Anybody inside? And that's what uh, you hear. What's that? That's what you hear. Okay. Cool. Just pounding. 
Well, let's see if they respond haunted the way they seem to everything else has. Okay, open the door. Okay. Yeah. Um. And then we'll do, do we create a choke point? So Probably. me and you on the outside, and then you back, because. Uh, so we'll figure four. We'll have. Oh, I was like, where are you? There you are. So there. And then I guess I don't know how many Zamboys there will be. The Zambonis. The Zambonis. The ice. We're coming. Ice for zombies. We're going to come for your ice. Oh no! Yeah. Because there's only one door, right? Yeah. Beautiful. And it's technically a five footer. Yeah. You ever hate when you go to like I go to look at oh that I want to bond Mott and undead that's what I wanted to Google. Hmm. Yeah. I was a little surprised when you're describing the door and I was like, eh, seems really small for a barn, but sure. Yeah, it's bigger than five feet. I mean. It's no, at least it's fifteen. Square, so I'm gonna well, it's at least ten. Feet, but... The door is not to scale to the squares. Yeah, not entirely. The artists and the square makers sometimes fight. It's okay. All right. Um, let's see. I don't know why I was saying fifteen. I'm like four from five is fifteen. Okay, yeah. So Bama no? does have mental. What's your as stealth? a tag, which means stealth modifier is seven. So. Same as Trek. Uh, excuse me. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was. Yeah. Yeah. So we do initiative. Yeah. Okay. No, I was just doing some. Sorry. Whew. So. Good night. All right. Well. Did you beat me? I got 19 on the die, but I'm only at a plus five, so 24. And stealth. Not bad. 22. So 22 for Trek, 24 for Demetrius. 23 for Bog. Oh, so. <laughs> and horse? Uh, 21. Nice. 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 We go first? And we all roll. <laughs> we're all going to roll twos and threes for our attacks. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Upon seeing the creatures, um, you recognize them as more uh, zombies. Okay. Uh, the Zombie same as at the gates. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they're just going to attack anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, and then, what useless undead these are. Uh, Demetrius is first. Yeah. So are, were they... Was there at least one ne near the door? Or are they that they are not next to us? Um, so we imagine uh, the door is they would have been I wouldn't say it's invisible just for ease. These two were pounding on it. Okay, then let's And then uh, you guys basically open the door and you can move faster than them so yeah, you I, did, I just wanted away. to be to yeah, because we were, we had a very distinctive idea of how we were setting it up. I want to make sure we were on the right page. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, I'm going to ask a really stupid question. Yes. It's a barn. Uh -huh. Is it a barn door? Like, does it slide? Uh, I yeah. imagine they were like two doors opening. Out. Okay. Yeah, and no, oh, and that's also a barn door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, guys... I'm perfectly happy because uh, I didn't I didn't do investigate or anything. I, I, I'm happy using my exploration in opening the door to to elicit because I didn't roll anything other than perception for uh, that's fine for, uh, for uh, in initiative. initiative. Thank you. I think you're up though. You are still. Am up. I? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is your turn. All right. Then I will. And as an aside. I didn't know you were not investigating, so I kept that and rolled your uh, recall knowledge for investigate on them. 
and you were successful. Oh, then that's fine. Then I can, I'll, because either way it's an action. So I'll, then I'll mm -hmm. spend the action to open the door. Yeah. Um, that's perfectly valid. Um, so I don't, uh, you'd have to tell me if mm -hmm. I succeeded. Yeah, you did. Okay. Then I will exploit vulnerability against three, because yeah. it's the one closest to me. Actually, one is closest to you. Oh, shit, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Tony. Blind as a bat. One, you are correct. Duh. Um, <laughs> Three that is, is closest a... to me. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's me. 18, which is if they are CR3 or lower. Yep. So I'll succeed. Yeah. And I don't presume, because I would need a 24 to critically succeed. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, highest weakness, uh, which I think is slashing, correct? Um, they're tied to slashing and uh, vitality. Okay, so but we'll keep slashing so that I'll do personal antithesis on one. Yeah. And then that's two actions, so a third action will be to strike. Ooh, 18 plus 7 <laughs> is 25. Five. Five. Yeah. Uh, off. Go to that'll, yep, that'll crit. <laughs> All right, so D6 and D4, because my claws. Oh, that's it's very crooked, kind. but I'll take the one. It's reasonable. Oh, fuck, I hate math. Five plus yeah. four is so, nine. Uh, yeah, plus two for implement empowerment. So, so that's 11. 11 times two is 22. There you go. And then eight on top. Yep. So twenty seven. So thirty. Thirty. Yep. One is super dead. Yeah. Oh, 30. Good yep. night. One's gone. All right. So yeah. at level seven, as a mastermind rogue, I when we start combat, I get a free recall knowledge, which starts the whole. Yeah. So it's just an operative. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah, and that's I kind of built this to be like a charismatic operative. Yeah, that's fine. In that the skill feats and all the fun shit I get to do. So uh, that's me. That's all three Bogdan. of my actions. Uh, Bogdan is. We well, got a beautiful clear line. Yeah, number gonna two. Shoot two. <laughs> Does a Oof. twenty-five hit? Off guarded. Uh, that will crit. Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Critting is important because I roll a bigger die. Yeah. Could you have fatal? Fatal or... aim D twelve. Yeah. So so yeah. So your D twelve is you same as him. Well, that was weird. It rolled for pretty a good very roll. long time. Uh, do I roll? No, I don't roll. Nope. You, you multiply it. Yep. Seven plus one eight times two sixteen sixteen. And then roll the D twelve and add that too. That's how fatal works. No, no, no. That's no, definitely. fatal just changes. Fatal increases the the base die. Of, oh, you go, you do roll one more. You, you roll one. You change all the die and roll one additional on top. Oh, I, yeah. Did, yeah. I didn't understand that. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, you were correct. Uh, so, <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. So <laughs> let me redo the math then. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Yeah. You just add the die. It doesn't get doubled. Just add the die. You don't yeah. double that one. So the the damage you did plus eleven. So eight, sixteen, twenty-seven. You're right. Twenty-seven. Yeah, I didn't roll a d6, did I? No, you didn't. And now you have precision, right? Yeah. So that that and double that one, so two, two. So you 29. did twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Almost the same as me. I crit. Right. And then I'm just like, reload. That's my turn. <laughs> you still have one more action. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. He says. Which one did you shoot? Two. 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 Okay. So he just looks at me and goes, "You got this." Two uh, had a head at one point. It doesn't anymore. And it it still does. It's just it's over there. It's over there. It's <laughs> over there. There's a lot of it on that back wall. Yeah. <laughs> and that's bludgeoning. <clears throat> right? Uh, it's bludgeoning or piercing. Whichever yeah. is better. Mm -hmm. so, uh, then, yeah, slashing sorry. is what you want. Uh, yeah. Trek. Trek is next. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> would Trek even bother? Because he's looking at Horace going, yeah, I think the guy with the sword's going to deal with this. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, Fred. Well, here's, a, I mean, Fred can do some cool stuff as a witch uh -huh. as well. 
Um, runic weapon. Does he have to touch the weapon, or is it just he can cast his... Uh, I believe it's touch. Let me... Let me Google it real quick. Because if so, that'd be great. Uh... Uh, touch. Dang. And you probably won't want to use that on the little zombies anyway. No, that's fair. Well, I did last... Oh, yeah. Um... that no, okay oh why does he have a bow when he has phase bolt because it's Fred? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, Facebook, I believe, is a focus spell. I can't remember. Quite possible. No, it's just a cantrip. Uh, um, just... Uh, I mean, he can always move. Oh, uh, it's a first level spell. So. Ah, that's why. Oh no, cantrip. Oh, cantrip one. Yeah, I was like. Well, I, I'm confused because I'm looking at and it says it's a level one arcane occult, but then it has the cantrip tag. When I bring it up, and then when I go to the actual page, it's cantrip one. And I'm like. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's probably a witch. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, it's weird. Yep. But it is a cantrip. Yeah, so he'll step and he'll shoot it with a cantrip. So that is range spell attack against your target's AC. <sighs> Plus six, okay. okay that 19. Alright, that'll hit. Yeah. Um, so is it 3d4? Yeah. Uh, Damage spell attack each time the target has any circumstance bonus AC reduces that bonus by two for this attack. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think that's a crit, anyways. No. Ah, come on. Well, I'll take that. I don't know what number that two. is. Uh, two. So two. So eight. It's eight. Alright. So it takes eight and piercing eight damage. Piercing. Nice. Alright. Um, any one action? No. Nah. Oh, you're right. Oh, and then shield. Oh, that's it is only one action. I thought it was two. Oh, yeah. it's a two action. Oh, yeah, so that's all three. He had to step. Okay. Yeah. Uh, horse. We can do it for you. There you go, boss. <laughs> you raging? I don't need to rage on this. Do you have I a know little, it's do a free thing. number of rages? No. Nope, okay. it's it's just yeah. yeah. It lasts a minute, and then I have uh, spend a minute tired. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's inconsequential, and playing in character, he really wouldn't rage unless sure, he feels cool. like he needs it. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna cut it open. <laughs> Thirteen hits. So, 14 damage. And that lays it low. Uh, Alright, you guys have saved the barn door. Okay. Ooh. And that also seems like a good ending. Good, yeah. Good day. You guys have explored right. a so good can... third of the farm. And we will continue this on Sunday, uh, where I will be playing, where we'll mostly be uh, looking at his instead of Bogdan. Uh, but uh, thanks everybody for joining us. Uh, feel free to look at the fellow shop for all the gaming loot of the enemies we've killed over the years and turned into hoodies. 
and I hope you have a great day.